<laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Come Play Podcast. This is episode 50. <laughs> Hello there. You can see our faces. Uh, yeah, baby. Uh, except, except Zach, me, because he's such an ass. The memo. Yeah, uh, if you heard My mic was muted intro. for OBS there, so what I said there was, except Zach, because he's an ass. I hope yeah. Twitch heard me that I'm time. I'm just a... I'm just a smiling face for yeah, the entire that's, that, that's duration it. of this podcast. <laughs> Wait, are you really? I need to pull this up. Yeah, oh, yeah, I mean, you've seen the picture before. It's the one I had since, like, we started that we used in, like, our first layout, which yeah, I guess... the picture is definitely two years old. So. I was going to say, Zach, Zach, looks, look like now. Zach looks homeless now, so... <laughs> well, I'm I was looking. saying, like, I was saying, like, um, it's one, it's old, and it's just, like, a nice little callback to, like, our first episode where we use this picture so yeah this yeah. picture is old but until zach buys a webcam that's what's happening i think it's for like each a, it's like i'm pretty much a mannequin like for <laughs> each episode that I'm he not here. doesn't have a webcam i'm gonna just draw one dick each time on this photo <laughs> and if he doesn't get a webcam soon he's just gonna be eating a ton of them so you know um, i'm just never gonna buy a webcam to see how many dicks you can fit on that picture, oh oh right? i'm i yeah yeah you're right <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, I'm looking at myself on Discord and then myself on Twitch and for some reason it's the picture is flipped. I don't yeah, know yeah, yeah. So I so what I so on my screen too because I had to screen record myself. Mine's flipped. The idea is that it's supposed to be like looking in a mirror. Skype does the shit too. I don't know why Discord started doing it. So in OBS, my webcam is flipped. I had to tell it to flip itself because Discord doesn't give you the option. So there you go. Gotcha. But yes, you can see our and faces. We have face cams. And before yeah. we move on, Face I just want to introduce you guys to uh, Brandy's trash can right here. <laughs> this is a, a, a stellar background. Yeah, latest member of the podcast. Um, yeah. It's mascot. Is he going to have his mascot. own segment? <laughs> Where he's going to have his own uh, segment called Garbage Time? Uh, that's a good segment, name. That, that, that sounds like a good idea. We'll have to think about that one. So uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. So there's gonna be like yeah. So welcome to garbage time. We're gonna we're gonna talk about Bryce Harper today. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this motherfucker! Let's go. <laughs> that was a good. good start. That was good. Well, that was very good. with that, Zach is is very good at timing his jokes, and uh, that is part of what we are doing today. We're looking back at our top moments from our first forty nine episodes. Yo, so we were talking before the show, like. Unfortunately, we haven't gotten the following that we would have liked, but going back and, like, listening to this stuff just made me smile because we've had some really good fucking moments, and it's been a good time, and I'm I'm, I'm excited to look back at it today. But before, <clears throat> excuse me, before we start that, let's go to Zach's thought of the week. He says he has a really good one, as it is Shit. episode 50. So, uh... So yeah, so uh, this week's thought of the week is going to be, um, have you ever been an hour and a half late to a podcast... <laughs> Because of your girlfriend's family, no, no, I actually haven't, but I have been an hour late. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> this week's thought of the week Shots. is: Would you rather have anuses for eyes or an eye for an anus? <laughs> oh my god! What? what? <laughs> okay, so okay, eye for an anus. So like, if you're like taking a dump, like, does the eye move out of the way or what? Can you no, see I mean, the your dumps eyes, you're taking? Your eyes, where your eyes now would be where your anus. Is. Oh, okay, gotcha. That... And vice versa. I'm, I'm totally so do cool. You still... Go ahead. Go ahead. There you go. No, no, go ahead. Okay, I'm I was saying like, I, I... <laughs> Tyler's gonna lose his fucking mind. <laughs> No, oh, no, we I don't want to be just... nice to each other now. Okay. okay. <laughs> I guess you just take a shit through your ass eye. I, yeah, that's what I was asking. Oh, oh, yeah. Answer that question first. So, I mean, so I you, guess I guess that's how it works, but I don't know. It's like somehow <laughs> magically not painful. So, so hold on, let me get. So I let. Where are you shitting out of? Are you shitting out of your ass or your face? <laughs> if you have anuses for eyes. Yeah. I mean, I guess you're shitting out of your face. <laughs> so I gotta be in throw up position to take a shit. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> So then you throw or, up out of so then you throw up out of your ass. Is that what I'm hearing? And then if I and, and if I have eyes for like I'm just seeing black all day. <laughs> like just darkness. <laughs> uh I will say this on that front. Um there would be some ugly motherfuckers if they had assholes for eyes. <laughs> yeah. Because assholes there, are yeah, not think. assholes are not pretty things, man. They're they're yeah. ugly. I would like the I mean, idea of having eyes for an ass just so that if I ever get 
like a prostate exam or anything, I just surprised the fuck out of the doctor. Doing it. <laughs> yeah, hello. <He's> like, hello. <laughs> <laughs> this should make your job easier. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, but my uh, eyes are back here, pal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if a girl, <laughs> you know, how, like a girl would be like, hey, my eyes are up, up here. here. Yeah. Well, what if they're in your ass? Yeah. That looks like anuses to me. <laughs> I, uh, I I can't have anuses on my face. Man. Nah, that's, that's I'm, I'm, I really don't feel like shitting out of my, uh, my guess, eyes. Uh, <laughs> I really. You guys don't want to go with the uh, the anus eyes? No. Nah, no, no, no. Nah, never. <laughs> Yo, legit I'm, question. This is off the fucking rails. Hold hold yourself. When's the last time you legitimately seen your own asshole? Like you seen it with your own eyes? I have because pic- I, I have seen it since probably. 2006. I I have pictures yeah, of I it. I don't know. I have pictures have of it on fire. Pictures of it. You have pictures of your asshole. Yes, I do. Can we uh, uh, can we put that up on stream? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, that's we, that's what we call <laughs> that's what we call banned in Twitch. Uh, no. Isn't there isn't there porn Twitch channels? It, Oh, I'm that's sure. a whole wow. other discussion. That's that, a whole that, other that discussion. Whole, yeah, that's a whole that other a, discussion. Yeah, because it actually has to do with channel. Because it actually has to do with Bobby's now. asshole. <laughs> no, why, can you answer why you have pictures of your asshole? I had a procedure done, and I had I, they, I they, gave, they gave me my I, records of when they when they oh, were doing the procedure. So they have. So I, I, had, oh God, I thought you had just had t- pictures on your phone. Like I thought you were just sending. News. I, I, I was selling them for money asshole. a while ago. Yeah, exactly. No, asshole, I, 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 I legitimately have pictures of it because I have a, I had a procedure done. So I mean, yo, I'd sell asshole pics. I mean, as long as your mm, face not in it, like there are a lot of things I probably sell pics of, and I, I yo, think yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, male or female, easy. if if you're sending uh, a pic of your asshole, that that is that is aggressive. Like if you're sending <laughs> it as a nude and you're expecting like, <laughs> yeah, they'll get off to this. Well, like, yeah, no. If a girl sends me a pic of her asshole, I'm like, yo, get to know me first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, actually, no, I kind of like that because that's a fucking power move. I really do. I really it think that just that sets move. the bar True. right, and you're gonna have to yeah. be way the fuck up there. Does he even have so a shot? So if she sends a pic of if she sends a pic of her asshole, what do you send him back? Like that's that's the question because that that that's here. You got to be here, you know. Um, and I I don't know what tops that. Oh, dude! So like the only thing it, they can it, top that is just replying saying nice. No, no, I think I think a nice strong picture of your gooch. That's what you need. <laughs> that I think that that'll set everything straight. Picture of someone else's gooch. There you go. <laughs> No, uh, going back, going back to the what original the topic. Uh, I, uh, please describe the anatomy of the gooch. Uh, it's it's like a minefield. Uh, it's like I, a know, minefield. So uh, here, I have another question for you guys. I, I was trying to get back on topic. We ain't getting back on topic. No, we're not. This no, podcast is gonna be a you know, fuck zone. No, 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 yeah, we're gonna get. Yeah, we're gonna be. Yeah, yeah welcome to the fuck zone, topic. the new porn podcast. <laughs> so you know how a girl, a girl. <laughs> a girl might say, "Oh, sit on my face." Do they know what like what that entails? Because have I you don't actually had a girl do. say that to you? No, I haven't. <laughs> but you, yo, you go on like I don't know, fucking Harry Styles, fucking uh oh, like the Twitter, the, 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 the thirsty and ones. Like, oh my god, sit on my face. Like, no, you know what that entails? There's hair. There's knives down there. There's <laughs> There's fucking uh, grenades. Like you, you don't want to be down there. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I'm, uh, it's I, not. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know, know what kind I, of girls you're are, talking. Are you? Are you? Bro, su- are you? What are you yeah. talking about? I am suggesting yeah, relate, that the, dude. I'm suggesting that the gooch area is not nice. Okay. You should not is want it a guy fucking storage face. pouch? Are you a fucking kangaroo? Like what? No, the, what the I'm, fucking I'm, knives I'm, down there? What are you saying? Yeah. There's, there's, Apparently the grenades, a girl's a minefield to Tyler. Grenades. Claymores, like, you gotta be careful You use there, claymores, you're you gonna pussy. get hurt. You say you yeah, use claymores, I, get the fuck out I'm of here. I'm a pre-patch claymores. I, I gotta say, though, my favorite thing, since you brought up, like, thirsty people on social media, my favorite thing with women, if they post, like, a, a nice picture of themselves, they post a picture of themselves, right, and you'll see other women come into the comments like, holy fuck, step on me, spit on me. You ever <laughs> seen that before? I don't know why, yeah, that shit's yeah. awesome to me. I don't know why, I just think yeah, it's but- funny. Have you ever been on like a sorority girl's like Instagram? Like that shit. That's all I'm that shit is. Like, oh my girl. girl. <laughs> like, dude, I'm just gonna on. start doing it. Except I'm gonna take it to extremes. Be like, oh my girl. Oh my god, girl. Gape my asshole. Like, 
<laughs> you see, that's gonna get you banned, though. Holy fuck! Oh, oh my god, yeah, that's funny. Banned, yes, it does. Well, get you a lot of things. If we had any monetization at all, we would be so. Would we would it. have been demonetized in episode well, three. Let's see. Uh, YouTube still owes me an episode of the podcast. Yeah, there's Fuck a couple. YouTube. Yeah, I noticed that. I was going back and I was like, some these episodes were eaten. Yeah, <laughs> oh, um, YouTube. I'm ready to square up. Yeah, I I've been ready to square up with YouTube <laughs> you, for a YouTube. while now. So it's only it's only a matter of time before I just you know I got I shooters YouTube. <laughs> yeah, uh, watch yourself. <laughs> there, the, and, well, that camp has already got shot up once. So, oh God's sake. Okay, okay. All was, right, was, moving on. How long was that ago? How long, how long was that ago? How long was that ago? I don't know. I that was, like that was a while ago. ago, or it was like a year ago. Yeah, you took the Bobby. We were here. We were here. You you went here. I I and, didn't uh, say I mean, I do it. A, I didn't say do it. I just said it got shot up. I was before. making a rap reference. I was not gonna take it that far. I I uh, I didn't say do it. I just said they've had it before. That's all I said. Yikes. I think it's time <laughs> to look back at our best moments. That was not one, not one of them. <laughs> but anyway, mm, I don't know. I enjoyed it. So yeah, enjoyed uh, it so much. the guys went back and and uh, looked at our episodes. Ooh. Took our favorite best moments, hottest takes. Some things were actually right. So that's surprising. Uh, so we're going to get right on that today. We're going to go go for a while. Uh, Bobby, already bring it. I can see your face when you do the hot take button now. You see how I'm happy I get? I'm severely disappointed. Yeah, you see how I happy know. I get? I just, it's so that's funny That's the to problem. Me. Um, what you'll also so, uh, see, ladies and gentlemen, when you see this face cam, is me carrying the fucking show on my back. Okay? What? Oh, wow. yeah, you wish. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Anyway. Let's, let's go. Let's get into some clips. So we're just gonna kind of go around the round table as usual, and um, yeah, I'll start it off. So uh, we're just gonna kind of go in random order here. Uh, but uh, starting in episode eighteen, I think this is when when Zach really hopped on this train and started to uh, just infuriate Bobby. And you know what's funny about this? Ha- this clip, he always gets on Bobby. Uh, Bobby's nervous for this case, but never on mine. Um, Zach, oh. starting some shit on the podcast. Give it a listen. I want to kind of listen to me here. I got the- you know, it's mm-hmm. the ex- experience versus inexperience. Um, Patriots have been three here three years in a row. Uh, four out of the last six. Um, you know what? I, I, as I'm talking here, I'm really, really, really surprised Zach hasn't butted in and said something about like fuck the Patriots. So. Good job, Zach. You're holding yourself back. I mean, I just um, assumed that was the uh, group consensus other than Bobby, who's a fake fan because he lives near Philly. Are you... Bro. <laughs> oh, 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 no. Hold on a second. Now you, you're not, oh my God. Now you're dead done that, it. Clip that. You, you, you listen to me, you sack of shit. <laughs> you, you've got a clip. <laughs> yeah, that, that's really Fucking where it all started. Shit. And I still find that funny because Bobby's a Patriots fan and... And you're loyal everywhere else in Philly, and I'm all over the globe, and he rarely says anything to me. Oh, no, dude. I've grilled you for it before. Yeah, you have, but not like Bobby. Have. Yeah. It, it's just, I'm it's higher just, with it. Tyler, the difference between your teams and my teams are my teams actually mean something and win championships. Yeah, you guys have been in the fucking say, dumps for so long now. <laughs> until you start becoming yeah. a dynasty like New England, you, you're I, not getting much shit from Zach. I, I was going to say, I think that's what it was, because he was basing it off success, and yeah. that started it. That was not the first time he brought that no, up. I've definitely though. given you shit for it, though. It's still yes, bullshit. he has. You literally yeah, like a team have. on all sides. Like, there's one on the east, one in the middle, and one on the west. Fucking <laughs> yeah. bullshit. Stick yeah. to a city asshole. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what st- I, I just. I was going back, and I was just like, uh, when I when I heard that clip, because I knew it was going to be in my range. Uh, I was just like, man, Zach started. So- Zach started a fire, oh, and it, and it still hasn't. It still hasn't burned out, man. It's still going. It's I I, I like feel like you guys have let off the gas with me after the disappointing finish this year. I, I it was weird. I was expecting. I, I got a couple chirps. Like someone put re, the uh, remember the Titans <laughs> meme Oops. in the fucking yeah, uh, in the chat me. Uh, at one point. But that was really <laughs> it. I didn't get chirped as much. I think we both were like, well, I don't think any of us expected that to happen. It was funny. Well, I yeah. thought that was a good meme. It was a great like, meme. You couldn't. You couldn't use it in any other situation. I will say, I will say, even though I'm a diehard Patriots fan, and you know, I, I've obviously been rooting for them and, and and loving the dynasty era that we've had. Yeah, for some I, reason, I, 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 
I, I must say, <laughs> you threw me off, you motherfucker. <laughs> I must say that I have very much, that we are so good meme material, I can't help but laugh at it. Like, it's just, it's too easy, you know? It's yeah. too fucking easy. It, yeah, between the Patriots and Bill and all of the uh, stuff behind the scenes, it's it's a layup. Yeah, it's man. just, oh my God, it and it's, it's fucking funny. <laughs> so yeah, Zach's starting it off there. Uh, Zach... Uh, always having something to say. Always, mm. always having a roast. Uh, so well, that's, that's you know why I'm here. <laughs> uh, Bobby, you went dark. What happened? My I uh, it's okay. I I switched screens on my Chrome. See. <laughs> okay, I just want. Yeah, I just wanted to that. make sure that we were still going. We're good. Uh, I am gonna send it to you for your uh, one uh, of your clips. All right. So, uh, I I this one has to be number one. This is easily one of my favorite rants on the podcast, and it has to do with our boy Brendy here. Uh, what? yeah, so this is from episode <laughs> five. Uh, so this was September 6th, oh, 2018. Uh, and, uh, you have something to remember. say, you have something to say to your favorite NFL team. And I think they need to hear it. Oh, okay. I remember this now. Yeah. This game, um, I'm going to pass the baton to Brandy right away. Uh, cause him being a Falcons fan oh, and let him... <laughs> Just go off. So go Zach knows All right, let me finish everything I have to say before you guys make a comment. Okay? Already, because it comes no, out. No, no, no. I, I, I'm, I'm serious. Okay. All right, all right, first of all, all, right. all, first of all, from a Falcons fan standpoint, this was the probably the worst Falcons game I think I have ever seen, and it's not even Hold close. Up. Hold up. You're not even just like going to say that just over the Falcons Patriots. <laughs> Single yes, because at least that game was that. at least that game was competitive. This game was dull, boring, had nothing going for it. Neither team should have won. And by the way, the Falcons, they played like the fucking Browns last night. Let, let me let me let me give you my list of grievances. Let me start with Matt Ryan. Matt Ryan, the 2016 season Fuck ended you. and you were the MVP. <laughs> I appreciate all the hard work and effort that you gave in that Eagles game, but it stopped Stop giving your best to Sean Deshaun Kaiser impersonation. Devontae <laughs> Freeman, Tevin Bowman. <laughs> Neither of you guys did anything productive. Is this what I'm supposed to expect from a duo that was considered one of the best running back duos in the NFL the past couple of seasons? If it is, you're not getting paid. Mohamed Sanu, congratulations. <laughs> wow, you Patriot. Two game-saving catches. One <laughs> of which Sanu, basically looked like he was thrown by a bowler in cricket, and Philly was dumb enough not to challenge it. The offensive line. <laughs> You're rated as one of the best offensive lines coming to the season by multiple sources. Why Why aren't I saying that? You basically let the quarterback get sacked about 10 times. That's un an understatement, it feels like. Special teams. Good job on keeping up with the tradition of getting a penalty every fucking punt and kickoff. <laughs> and to everyone I didn't mention, you didn't even warrant a mention because you already know what I have to say. That includes you, Steve Sarkeesian. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Uh, oh, man. I... <laughs> so this was um this was week one Falcons Eagles I think it was a twenty seventeen season it was so this was this uh, we recorded eight. this on September sixth twenty eighteen this was when that was recorded so, I'm sorry so it was a 2018-2019 season yeah and uh and I remember it was week one it was uh <laughs> the the Thursday night kickoff and to to Brendy's like. That that game sucked, bro. <laughs> like that game was so bad. I, I, I think remember. me and I think me and Tyler were like texting each other and um, during the game, like kind of yeah. watching the game together. Yeah. yeah, we we were, and it was like one of the worst football games I have ever watched in my life. <laughs> it was so bad. I literally felt like that there was someone on the Falcons getting injured every other play. Yeah, that's you weren't wrong about that. Yeah. And I just remember it was like it was raining. I think there was like a thunderstorm, so like the game was delayed. So this was like a delayed game on the first game of the season. And I had I had work the next day too. Yeah, it was just like <laughs> so there was just a lot of no good happening here. Yeah, uh, it, yeah. exactly. But this was this whole thing, eh? Uh, I just yeah, I, I, I was I I listened to this clip probably five times because I was laughing so hard. Uh, from listening to this when when I was logging everything, this shit was so funny. <laughs> yeah, I was trying to think. I'm pretty sure that was like the that was the first game of the season, and I'm pretty sure um, Keanu Neal blew out his knee for the season. Like there was two Falcons of that game that were lost for the year. Uh like everybody <laughs> was getting hurt, 
and it was just like, man, I have to feel. And as a neutral, like it was bad for Brendan. And as a neutral, I was just so bored. And I uh, just my favorite thing there was <laughs> and special that's what teams. The season. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is going to go through the bullet points. I just I love it. He was so ready. He was so fucking funny. So that's not Ryan. Fuck yeah, you. I, yeah. I, I'm, <laughs> not even, I'm not Fuck even. I'm not even kidding, guys. Like I had a list written out in front of me of what I was gonna say. <laughs> it's great. Oh, I love great. it. So that's that's definitely anything. that's one in my opinion one of uh, Brendy's yeah. top moments yeah. and definitely his best round on the show. So um, yeah, all yeah. you guys, all you Atlanta Falcons players, you're all on my list right Fuck now. Fuck you. <laughs> Literally every single one uh, of you. Who's top of your list right now, Brendy? What, what's that i didn't hear you Who, who's top of the shit list for the falcons for you yeah, right now the fuck you list yeah um that that's a tough question if you had asked me in the middle of the season i probably would have said dan quinn <laughs> but now um, you're now you're back on the train right because i remember we talked about this recently as of right now it's probably uh i don't know it, it, it's tough to say dan quinn is probably tied for uh for number um, one Probably tied for number one uh, with. Uh, I'll have to think about that. I'll get back to me okay. about that later. All right. Well, uh, Tyler, who's who's next for uh, for for a nice little clip here? Because that's that's definitely one of Brandy's uh, best yeah, moments. Brandy. I was gonna say, Brandy, what do you uh, what do you have for us? All right. Well, uh, I'm just going through my list quickly here, and uh, I think I think we're going to. Uh, I think I think what I'm going to bring this to is uh, episode 41. Uh, one of it's starting to become one of our all-time favorite uh, podcast moments. And uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about, this okay, this podcast, in my opinion, episode 41 is my favorite podcast. I went back and listened to the whole thing today um, <laughs> for like the fifth time. And uh, at right at the very beginning, we just have a very memorable uh, <laughs> Zach quote. Okay. So, uh, you know, it's funny as as I'm queuing this, I just realized, yeah, you definitely did watch it because this one, for whatever reason, has 21 views. (laughs) (laughs) It's literally my favorite. All right. That was awesome. Let's see what we got here. Three options. Oh, boy. All right. Would you rather drink a bottle of ketchup, a (laughs) bottle of mustard, or a bottle of mayo? Oh, dude. What is it? You have an obsession uh, with, like, drinking. Dude, I like, love condiments. <laughs> <laughs> that is just the best, like, that is one intro of That's ever. a good moment, dude. Oh, um, yeah. yeah. Something I want to add to that. <laughs> Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, <laughs> food is nothing but a vessel for sauce. <laughs> yeah, that, that, I remember you said that. You said that once. You were like, "Yeah, I consider food just utensils for sauce." Yeah, it's a utensil for eating sauce. That's all it is. Yeah, I, uh, all the flavor and deliciousness is in the sauce. So, what is your favorite sauce utensil then? My favorite sauce utensil. I mean, chicken tenders are a pretty solid one. Okay. Chicken wings are a pretty solid one. <laughs> um, chicken sandwiches. <laughs> just are you just like you, Are you picking up what I'm putting uh, down I, here? I, I am Anything picking chicken. up. What you're we have two down. guys who are obsessed with chicken in their own special ways, and I hate everything about it. I'll be that honest. So, oh, man, I like all my love for chicken. chicken okay, Brendy discriminates on what type of chicken he eats. <laughs> well, see, here's the thing: the chicken I do like. I like. Way, Comes in strip like, form. I, I yes. love so much. <laughs> <laughs> no nugget form. Can't forget nuggets. Dinosaur nuggets or regular nuggets? Both. Duh. Flintstone <laughs> vitamins. That's what. That's uh, where it's at. vitamins. I'm pretty sure. Uh, it, I think that was the episode we had Rachel May and Malachi on for. Yes, that, because there's actually just, another yeah. clip here that Brendy has okay. logged that uh yeah do, you do we want to do that one now yeah that really quick? yeah yeah yeah, yeah so uh, it, let me let me yeah, explain this clip really really quick so we were talking about the uh the call outs in call of duty <laughs> and how um how like call outs would essentially give your position away um back when <laughs> modern warfare first came out yep. and uh Z- zach here has a very good explanation of uh how exactly it, it it is? Yeah, this was our COD roundtable episode uh, from episode forty one. So here we go. Point to the fucking finger. I've died many times because the enemy heard my call out. Yes. No, yeah, there'll be yeah. someone you're. You'll be sneaking up on someone to try to knife them behind, and your guy will just. There's enemy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm trying to be quiet, but I mean, yeah, just, just go ahead and yell. That's fine. Well, yeah. the, big, the biggest issue is in one life. <laughs> 
There's the enemy. If, <laughs> if you're not picking up, Zach is going to be in a lot of our best moments. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I but, think so too. Yeah. But no, yep. uh, thank God that they fixed that because yeah. Zach's right. I remember like, uh, I think, I don't know if it was Brendy sent me this video of like, it was like a, um, a meme for COD and it was like, it was, I think it was like a duck or something, like walking, and it was just like smack, smack, <laughs> smack, smack. And like, that's how yep. it was walking in the game. And it was just like, th- thankfully it improved there, but yeah. uh, it was from November that, that 14th, was some tough time. this episode. So, and COD was probably released. It was October, wasn't it? It was late oh, October. Oh, that's right. It was released in October. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I always, yeah. It, it usually was, but they, like, they decided no. to just, you yeah. know, pull a fucking fast one this year or past two years. Yeah, like, that's yeah, right. Whatever. That's anyway, right. Yeah. So, so uh, yeah. they made some nice improvements, but to start off the game, that was, <laughs> it was a rough time. <laughs> it was rough. It was. It was um, a bad time. It was a bad time. Yeah. So yeah, Zach has never been one to not uh, give his opinion on shit. So I'm not surprised that he just fucking yelled about COD. Um, oh, yeah. Let's see what next one I have. Oh, this is a good one. Episode 25. <laughs> Um, <laughs> so uh, we've talked, uh, we've talked about this show time and time again, uh, on the show time and time again, uh, well, three of our loves for NHL, uh, and the NHL series and playing NHL on Xbox and then Zach's view of it, which is not, not the same as ours, but we've had some memorable moments and, you know, in NHL 19, we just wanted to capture that division one title. It took us a while. But we finally did it. (laughs) And when we finally did it, there was a lot of emotion running, okay? You know, we were just, we were so grateful for the opportunity (laughs) that it happened. This was not actually on a podcast, was it? This is like a gaming moment? Yeah, so did we, we no we played it the during podcast. the podcast. Yeah, so we, we did, played we did it. We did play it during a podcast. Yeah, that's right. we played it during the podcast, but this was not on the podcast. This is literally what we do. Like this was not scripted. Yes. Uh, and and, and <laughs> as Bobby explains here in the clip, uh, we had the honor of talking to the captain of the the Cats Clan after the win of Division One, and this is what was said. <laughs> Give it a second. Hey, goaltender. Uh, and uh, hopefully we can win another title like that. Do you have anybody you want to give a shout out to? No, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> we do this. We still do this. We still have post game oh, interviews time. every time oh, we play yeah. NHL. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> we literally like this is how like, this is how like, it goes. Tyler, Tyler I'll, send me. Well, yeah, <laughs> I'll explain. So every time we end a game and we're just we I don't know we need like a little spice up or something. One of us would be like Tyler, send me, and then Tyler would be like, and now going down to Bobby with the post game interview <laughs> and i'll start interviewing brendy on the spot i don't know why we just find it very entertaining for some reason <laughs> like we literally do it, like with no intention of putting it up but this Zero. moment was just too good like bobby but, always records all of our shit so yeah we uh, uh for, mo- for moments like this yeah we um yeah i remember that episode so that was uh may 23rd 2019 so it was episode 25 and I remember that the whole we literally dedicated a portion of the podcast to talking about our first ever D1 win yeah. because we've bitched about NHL so many fucking times that it just felt right yeah. to share our, our final like big achievement like in in, oh, in shell I mean, after just grinding this game. So I was gonna say we we put in I don't I don't I don't remember I think we, we had like over two hundred games, games I think. I think We're, we had uh, over two hundred games. Yeah. And 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 we put in a lot of time to 18, and it was just like, I mean, we sound like complete fucking losers in that clip, but it, it was just like <laughs> us being funny, uh, yeah. talking about the game that we that we put so many hours into. But that <laughs> that end part, <laughs> like that whole interview was great. Like if you you know want to go listen to that, like I said, it's episode 25. That whole interview was great, but that one part at the end there, he's just like. No, I'm good, thanks. Like, after yep. a brief pause. <laughs> like, I thought about it, and I was like, no, I'm good. <laughs> no, that's, 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 really, that's, that's really what it comes down to. Yep, absolutely. Oh, man. <laughs> one, one of my favorite moments I don't think was actually ever recorded, and um, this was, like, right before the interview. Uh, it was Zach, like, yelling. He was like, I can uninstall in peace. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Zach has been the yeah. most cynical person out of all of us, even though we're all pretty cynical about the game. He still hasn't even bought Angel 20. 
Uh, so he is, he's, he's definitely not a, he's still not a fan. I have said if David Ayers is on the cover of NHL 21, <laughs> I will buy it. Yeah, for those who don't know, David Ayers, me. the uh, emergency goalie for the yeah. Carolina Hurricanes, the just stole the star. show and beat the fucking Maple Leafs. First uh, emergency goalie right to record a movie. win. The fucking Zaboni driver. <laughs> yeah, shout out. I don't know if you guys saw that video that one like Maple Leafs fan. Like, yeah, yeah Steve I, 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 I linked it. It's Steve Dangle. This guy, well, his, his name is not actually Steve Dangle. I, Steve Dangle? Yeah. Yeah, that's his name. <laughs> but, uh, sounds, like a, sounds like a porn star name. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> he's, been, he's been doing reaction videos to every single Leafs game since, I want to say, like 2006. Seven or something like that. Jeez, really? Yeah, every single game. And, wow. Uh, I see. I didn't know that. I, I've known who he is for a while. I didn't know he was doing every game. Holy shit! Yeah, every single game. And I was waiting for this after after the game, and it did not disappoint. I was gonna say, and, like, uh, <laughs> he's got to be having a prime year in viewer numbers right now because of how the Maple Leafs are this year. It's got to be the most frustrated yeah, well, fan base in the league right now. Yeah, I was gonna say. I mean, he he uh, he even wrote a book. <laughs> that is titled uh, "This Team Is Ruining My Life." That I actually ha- I actually own. Uh, <laughs> so it, so it's we're gonna good stuff for him, but yeah. If you want to join Tower's book club, I'm sure you guys can all read it together. <laughs> <laughs> so there you go. Um, but yeah, that was it was a uh, that was funny. But anyway, getting back on track again. Yep. Uh, great moment there from Brundy and uh, and Bobby. You can, you can hit us with another clip. All right, so. Um, I think we, I'm going to have to throw us back to the very first episode we ever did. And, uh, I want to f- have we changed in a good way. <laughs> yes, we have. You will hear it immediately. Uh, so, uh, this was, I consider this Zach's first thought of the week, even though we didn't label that until like, ah, oh, geez, episode four. And I think there was like a couple episodes where like, we didn't actually do his thought of the week either. Right, but yeah, but Zach, as always, is is a thinker. He has a lot on his mind, and he wants to share it with us a lot of time. So I consider this the first start of the week. It's a decently longer clip, like two minutes or so. So just bear with me. Uh, And I definitely give one of the hottest takes on the show right (laughs) off the bat. Uh, So you'll you'll hear it right away. So let me get this all uh, all queued up here. Uh, You guys are probably still going to call me an idiot after this, but uh, we'll see. Uh, Yeah, probably. Here we go. First I'll topic, call you an idiot something I really, really want to get settled. Uh, okay. Okay. So, a gorilla versus a grizzly bear. Who would win? <laughs> what? A gorilla versus a grizzly bear? Probably the grizzly bear. Why? Uh, because one chomp, the gorilla is dead. I, I would, I would argue though that the gorilla has thumbs, so it could literally just pick up this bear and just completely body slam him to the ground. Okay, then why can't he Dude, the grizzly bear has razors at the end of each of his fingers. Like Zach. Yo, what the fuck is wrong with you? You know you're gonna get this guy started so easily, man. No. Tyler has no idea that by saying that what he started, just for the record. Uh, yeah, I was gonna <laughs> say. Okay, if, if a gorilla can do that, then why can't a human do that? Like a grizzly bear would fuck up a gorilla. Because a gorilla human. actually has size. We are brawny and stupid. No. Uh, okay, I mean I agree with that, but Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but no, a gorilla would fuck you up. Well, a gorilla would fuck you up, and so would a grizzly bear. <laughs> yeah, I, I really don't want to come to face to face to either of them. I'm not a hunter. No, I'm saying a grizzly bear versus a gorilla. Yeah, I think I think the grizzly bear would definitely uh, win against. The I gorilla. I still disagree. I say the gorilla just full on spears this Tyler bear through like six tiebreaker. Me as a tiebreaker. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a tiebreaker if there isn't a tie. It's two on, on one. Uh, hold on, the grizzly bear. <laughs> The grizzly bear has heavier attacks. The gorilla is smarter. We're talking about stats here? <laughs> <laughs> it has a 99 attack. We don't go to our statistical expert, Tyler. Razors. Tyler, what it are you seeing out there? At the end of his claws. <laughs> <laughs> it would fuck a, gri- a gorilla. Oh, you're, 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 you're nuts. You're nuts. I would I would even say like a kangaroo would have a fighting chance against a grizzly bear because it would just kick what? in the face. Oh yeah. <laughs> no. Have you ever there seen it? Stop it right there. <laughs> there it is. This man said a kangaroo. 
a kangaroo versus a grizzly bear, and the grizzly bear would lose. I no. I, what I said was he had a fighting chance. Those were my words. That the kangaroo would have a fighting chance. Except it doesn't, though. That's the thing. Have you seen that thing fight? <laughs> Have you seen that thing I, fight? Have you honestly I've seen, never the kangaroo seen a fight? kangaroo and a grizzly bear fight? No. Not a grizzly bear. I don't care if the kangaroo had fucking six arms. It ain't winning. <laughs> Dude, are you still trying to defend this? Like, no, I'm just. I never said okay. it would win the fight. I said it had a fighting chance. Like What's the, the point truest of bringing underdog. It up then? Be- it was a fucking I, grizzly I'm bear just, versus look, a gorilla. I'm just citing a kangaroo I s- has nothing to do with it. I just, We're talking about fucking fruits, and you're over here talking about fucking steaks or some shit. I man. just <laughs> listened to me, but I was just pointing at something I said two years ago. I don't know what I was thinking two years ago, okay? <laughs> so I'm just talking about and clarifying what I said. So, fuck out of here. Good lord. Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah, guys, I could probably meet- I could beat Mike Tyson in his prime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, I do. Like I have a you, fighting chance. I do like how you pointed out that first part, part though, where I was like, oh, don't get it started. And look what it actually ended up starting. Yeah, yeah you started a whole fucking awesome. segment, you idiot. That's pretty awesome. Man. Yeah. <laughs> the, this uh, episode one, it, it was a rough episode. I was hosting. Uh, I, rough episode. Yeah, I mean, I it was fun. It was a good, we had some good discussion. It was just, you could, you could, you could tell how much we were trying to figure out what the fuck we were supposed to do. <laughs> like in I between mean, we're things. 50 episodes in and we're still trying to figure it out. Oh like, yeah, we have no idea what the fuck then. we're doing. I think we're definitely... I mean, back, I, we, no, we, I, mean, I think like we have t- taken strides audio-wise. I mean, that was pretty oh, brutal. Oh, thank God. Uh, and listening, thank God. listening to basically every podcast before probably episode like third, like... 30, yeah. 30, somewhere in the thirties, like it's pretty, pretty rough audio. Yeah, and then everyone's uh, like, you know, yeah. we're all gonna get mic, which made me very happy. I had my mic for a while, um, but everybody yeah. got mics, and it's it's been it's been good. So also, uh, Brendy wouldn't have seen this uh, when going back and listening to the podcast, but me and Bobby have like our format was terrible, man. Okay. Like we. So, like, I know what we were going for, yes. but I'm so happy we changed it. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, so in case any new listeners, we, we, we originally had, our, our format was this. We had what we called quick picks in the beginning. So, it was essentially, like, that was supposed to be, like, the news reporting segment of the show, where we just kind of hit, like, all the current events and, and just kind of briefly talked about them. The problem with that, because it's good in theory. Because the idea was we hit these current event things, talk about it for a brief second, and we'd be done all of them in 15 minutes. The problem is we like to talk, okay? And what would happen was we would have 30-minute discussions about one news story of Quick Picks. And the problem is the rest of the program after Quick Picks would go, okay, we get to our first big topic, and then in case you missed it, and then our second big topic, and then Zach's track of the week, and then close. And not to mention that Zach's thought of the week is before Quick Picks. So it would have to cut time because we'd be doing two and a half, three hour podcasts. And you it thought just, our podcasts were long now. <laughs> yeah. It's like, and look, we still have them from time to time, but at least they're, you know, we really only have two big topics that we ever have to quote unquote, like kind of research for or prepare for each week. Zach just has to wake up in the morning and he'll have a start of the week. And Zach just has to pick something out of his fucking deep dub playlist just to, for his track of the week. So he's fine in that department. Brendan, you just got to find a few stories for in case you missed it. But for the most part, now it's just it makes things a lot better. We, we have a lot of flexibility to kind of talk about things. But it was something we tried. I remember I yeah. pitched the format originally and I was scared to go off of it when, you know, these guys came up to me and said, hey, we probably should change format. We don't think it's working this, that because I was basing it off a three and a half hour radio show. That's what I based this this format off of. And I realize mm. now that they were they were right, and I, I've been liking how we've been doing this for the past while. Yeah, but I, I mean, I'm like, because I, I don't want to bash it because if no, it mean, was like like so, like say we were a bigger platform, I actually really I, I would, and we had unlimited time, three and a half hours or yeah. whatever. Like, that's fine, but you know, we were the starting off podcast where we were basically just, um, and we tr- you know try not to do this now. We'll do it maybe from time to time. But we were just basically regurgitating information and never actually gave our opinion on it. Yeah. So, like, yeah. We, which, we, which never we, we don't need to do that. Our we don't need to do that. Yeah. We're not insiders. We're, you know, we just, we read ESPN and The Athletic and Kotaku, CBS, yeah. NBC, whatever, just like everybody else does. You don't need another, 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 you know, few people doing that, especially some idiots, you know. So, so I, it, took a, it took us a while to finally change the format, but now 
you know, we are very opinionated and uh, we've yeah. always has we always have been, so it's nice to to put that on the air, but yeah, it was rough. Mm-hmm. Um <laughs> listening back to portions. Look, I'm not saying like I hated it or something. Like I'm proud of of <laughs> where we came and I'm sure, you know, another 50 episodes later from oh, this one whoa. it's going to be the same idea. Uh you good over that book? Yeah, sorry. Uh you're good. But uh but yeah, it was just it was uh a lot different back then. I mean, it was um, it was really just us, us trying to get our feet wet. I was trying to figure out what we wanted to be, what yeah. we wanted to do. And I also do want to note, we started talking about expansion for content in probably like episode eight. And we've just finally started <laughs> doing that. Like with yeah. making YouTube videos, which by the way, if you haven't noticed, for those who have mm. subscribed, or maybe you're new here, you should go check out our YouTube channel where we obviously, we started there and we posted our podcast. But now that our podcasts are global, we figured we want to use YouTube and... A new different way besides just regurgitating our podcast each week. So we've made mm. a few videos and we plan on making a few more. So current videos up right now. We talked about Kobe Bryant, reviewed his career and, and his legacy in the NBA. Uh, we talked about the Patriots legacy legacy uh, and talking about if it was dead yet or not. And then I know Tyler and Brendy had a very good discussion about bowl games. So if that's something that sounds like it's interesting to you, it's very raw, more kind of uh, talk show based uh See and you, tyler and we lost tyler sorry to the <laughs> tyler right, you back bud <laughs> yeah i i don't know what is yeah. happening tonight. yeah so there you go and um you know so if you that's something that interests you go ahead and over to our youtube channel uh complaint network just search it up um yeah so nice yeah. little plug real quick and i think that's a good transition yeah, you think tyler yes i do and <laughs> yeah i'm gonna go to brendy for another <laughs> clip of his <laughs> <laughs> way, too, way too smooth. Way right. too smooth. Oh man. So I'm gonna bring this. Uh, I'm gonna bring this to episode 43. And uh, oh wow, this, this is for, this is perhaps the single <laughs> dumbest thing I think all like all four of us have ever done. It will maybe I mean, up there with Bobby running. Him, running I mean, I, I mean, I hit myself with a Bobby car. running himself up. That's what I was, was going to say. <laughs> so, it, okay. Have this I ever told that whole story on the podcast? By the way, I'm sorry. I'm not going to do it now. I'm not going to do it now. I'm not going to do it now. You can share. You can share this later. Yes. But, um, you got to do that at some point. Um, but this is definitely up there in like top three dumbest moments we've ever had. Um, mm-hmm. So, um, I was fortunate enough to get the Xbox One about a month after it came out. I just asked for it for christmas and uh mom gave it to me uh so big this shout was, out to moms out there yeah big shout yeah, out to big mom shout big old shout out big fucking ups. um <laughs> big up. but uh a, a few a few months after that i went off to college went to uh tennessee and and uh, i brought uh, like i said i brought my xbox with me had a, had a nice tv so the way I had my dorm room situated was I had my TV basically on my dresser um, and I had my Xbox like kind of underneath the bed, but like sticking out a little bit. And um, and then I had my desk right next to me and then my bed above that. Mm-hmm. And I also had a coffee maker that sat on a, a shelf kind of not right over the Xbox, but um, enough to the point where if. Uh, you know what? Just 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 play the clip. Okay, play the clip. All right. Back in like early but, 2016. But, but, but Brendy, you're the only ten I see. Okay. Sure. Yeah, that was hilarious. Uh, moving on to uh, so it was early 2016. Um, and let's see. The first the first Xbox I had, like, actually had like a two terabyte hard drive. Um, and back then I think you had to buy the Connect with it, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, yes. Um. Still, so yeah, I can I, I, spy on you while you sleep. And I actually think I still have my Connect. I just don't have it set up. Um, but so I, I had it set up in my old college dorm, and uh, you know how freshman dorms are. You know they're usually small. You usually hate yourself. Um, can confirm. And uh, so I had my I had my TV on on my on my dresser, and then. The Xbox right under, underneath, um, right underneath my bed. Um, but like in the midpoint of my bed, there's like a little shelf where I had like a coffee maker. Um, and but it, but it was it would it would hold steady. So like as long as long as you know I wasn't playing around with it, you know it'd be fine. So my freshman dorm is well, you had to pack your shit under the bed. Um, oh. So I. 
I wake up one day and I notice my Xbox is working. Like it's not turning on. I'm like, I'm like, okay, what well, you know, what's going on with this? Um, so I just, I just figured, you know, it, it was just being weird or like there were power problems or something. So I just went to class that day. Um, I came back. Uh, the problem is still there. And that's when I realized the top of my Xbox feels damp. I was like, <laughs> this isn't good. Um, so I actually, I actually went ahead and opened my Xbox, and my entire Xbox's like motherboard is soaked. Oh my! Like it looks like I used the motherboard as an umbrella. Don't <laughs> <laughs> um, forget your like, Xbox today. It's gonna be I, right out there. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. So basically, I had to. Um, I had to I had to explain everything to my mother and she was not very happy about that. <laughs> I just I the line that, I think that good. I was gonna say the line I had to use my Xbox as an umbrella, I think, or something yeah. like that is one of the best lines I've ever had. I think yeah. that the that <laughs> podcast is the first time I ever heard that story. So I was like all into it and that was just funny as hell, man. Like that was Dude, that was I, just like something. I, yeah. Like I said, I, I that still hurts I, me. The fact that you're like my motherboard was soaked. I'm like, oh, yeah. I, I think this is actually like the third Xbox I've ever had. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that. <laughs> How um, do you go through I, that? I many? don't. Well, okay. So the first one was the you know the one I just told you. The guys umbrella, about, right? Yes. The umbrella. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't a hundred percent know what happened to the second one. But I'm pretty sure my cat dropped it. <laughs> what? Wait, wait, wait. What? Your so cat dropped you, it? They don't have thumbs. Just to, just, just to start you off there. Your cat um, dropped it. I'm not... Honestly, I can't even... I can't even 100% remember. I think... Um, I, I, so... Um, whenever I was home, I had my Xbox, like sitting on like this barrel looking thing and then um and then my tv had its own stand and i think what happened was my cat knocked over the barrel and it just fell and it <laughs> didn't work ever again uh, how do you Your start cat off with dropped my cat dropped it <laughs> My Xbox. That's is that a rendition of my dog ate my homework? Yeah, my right. cat dropped my Xbox. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> I mean, look, man, it 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 ha- the, the weirdest things happened to me. Like I accidentally <laughs> order pizzas, you know, all the time. And... I I oh, so man. okay. So uh, if you if we ever try and ask him to play NHL, his excuse is now always going to be. Hey guys, sorry I can't play today. My my cat dropped my Xbox. Like, he's just, <laughs> this is gonna be his fucking excuse from 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 here well, here fucking on. I don't have a, luckily until I get a uh, another cat, that's not gonna happen here. So right, well, I never know. You still ha- you still drink coffee every day, so you're not out of the woods. Okay, <laughs> but my see my coffee is in my coffee maker is right here, and my TV is all the way over there, and my yeah. Xbox is over there as well. So yeah, but I think I'm with, safe for now. with your luck, with your luck. Somehow the coffee will shoot at your Xbox almost directly, and I, 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 I just, if were, I can't. If if that were to happen, okay, that's impressive because there's a wall between here and the and the Xbox. So I mean, so man, like it would have to like curve around. You haven't the, heard of a ricochet? Yeah, the, Mr. The Coffee's rick- got a mean curve. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, like, oh man, I heard that story for the first time, and I was just like, it's such a great that, story. That that was a raw live reaction for me. That was funny. <laughs> um, I think he's told me that story. I forgot about it until you got. I've to the, told it to you so many times. No, I know, but like I forgot. God, I didn't know where you were going with it. I was like, oh, that one. Okay. <laughs> so I was excited yeah. to hear it again. I was excited to hear that again. Uh, for our next clip, uh, going back to Zach and uh, Zach's thought of the week. Always always bring good moments. This one is from episode 29. And I listened to this back and was legit crying laughing. Now, this is unfortunately like a 10 minute clip. So obviously I had to just cut. Like we had to just cut it where... All you're gonna hear is the question. So, um, I guess, Bobby, when you when you're ready, we'll play the question first, and then I'll <laughs> explain everything that happened after. Um, but this is 
probably by far uh, Zach's best thought of the week. Um, and and here it is now. I am ready for this. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna get right into it. No, you're not. Mm-hmm. Would you rather ejaculate one sperm the size of a tadpole, <laughs> or <laughs> or a regular load, but each individual sperm can talk? <laughs> oh. oh, I forgot about that. First one, one doesn't talk. The first one said? doesn't talk. Okay. <laughs> so what follows that is a legitimate. 15 minute discussion <laughs> on the question that you just heard and basically um <laughs> so so the consensus was at by the end of it of course because bobby's always on the outside it, it was three versus one uh, me brendy and zach all said talking sperm uh bobby said tadpole we try to convince him that that would be extremely painful um <laughs> And that, you know, having that talent uh, of of talking sperm was actually quite impressive, and it might impress a lot of people. Okay. Uh, but he didn't he didn't buy it. Don't. But don't. my mate, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe my favorite part of that a whole discussion was, I think Brendy asked, okay, well, what would the sperm sound like? And Zach's answer was, uh, you know, it, it would sound like, it's your DNA, so it sounds like you. But then we started to get into if you could have a, a, a sports announcer be your sperm, like talking sperm, who would it be? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Joe Buck was mentioned. Uh, Marv Albert. LeBron uh, James. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's exactly what you, that's exactly what you said. You're like, we played that. A clip. clip and uh and you're like yeah that's only for that's only for lebron <laughs> that's <laughs> only when he ejaculates he hears that how did and, we not mention uh, did we mention no, doc just goes <laughs> no he didn't <laughs> imagine fucking jizzing and just you just hear lebron james <laughs> 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 like, that's exactly why this conversation was so funny we were talking about like uh, Bobby brought up Morgan Freeman, and I was like, "Yo, Morgan James. Freeman, yes." <laughs> if Morgan Freeman was commentating, like, like my talking sperm, I'd do that any day of the week. But this conversation just had me rolling because of just how, like, <laughs> it, it was just like, again, fifteen minutes of just raw, like, just going back and forth, and it was it was quite... But I, if you get a chance, and I'm talking to you guys too, like, the numbers here. <laughs> Go back. If you guys get a chance, please listen to that. You will not regret it. Uh, that might, like, that whole segment might be my favorite clip of all time on the podcast. <laughs> like, no joke. It was so funny, man. Oh my god. It was so funny. But yeah, Zach Sotolico was bringing the best out of us, and... Uh, only, uh, what was like, what, 20 episodes ago, we had that one, but, um, <laughs> that was, that was a favorite of mine for sure. Um, but, uh, did you want to hit Bobby, the other clip real quick in the, in that episode? In that episode? Let me see what I Cause I there. see something uh, else there. Oh, yes. I would love to hit this <laughs> point. Uh, Zach, you, you referenced, uh, Mr. Uh, Ayers earlier, uh, our emergency goalie for the Carolina Hurricanes. Yeah, big uh, and, and about buying NHL 21. Well, you made a statement in episode 29. Tw- uh, excuse me. Yeah, 29. Who left? We good? Uh, we lost Brendy. We lost Brendy. We hopefully, lost Brendy. Uh, hopefully we can get him back uh, in a well, second. Uh, what you're going to uh, look at now is the starting soon graphic until I uh, <laughs> until we get uh, uh, Brendy back because I just threw everything for a loop. Yeah, All we're right. gonna give our a big shout out to our sponsors at a uh, Spectrum. You can you can you can use our oh. code Comeplay Network for zero percent off. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, watch so yourself. you're gonna you're gonna watch that because I forgot to make like an emergency graphic because I had a feeling this would happen. Oh, uh, but well. I forgot to make the other uh, thing. So uh, uh, I think he's back, Randy. Yep. Sorry about that. Uh, my my, uh, my phone is ringing. Okay. Oh, okay. Got you. Got you. Got you. All right. That's fine. But no, I know. I know. I know why. I know why. It's fine. Uh, uh, but so we're all good now, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah, we're, we're good. We're good. We're back. Be like, oh, sorry, guys. I had to swallow some saliva. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I think no, I just... didn't want to be like on the. I didn't want to be on my phone during the podcast. Who cares? You're hey, a celebrity. Yo, you do what you want. 
Yeah, you're a celeb. Yeah, I'm uh, a celeb. Right. You're a celeb. But we were talking about NHL 20, and Zach had this to say uh, about his intention to buy the game. I kind of felt like they kind of said they were going to fix all that stuff in NHL 19, and they came out, and it's like, oh, the skating's a little better, but everything else still sucks. Yeah, true. Well, I said so, that. I mean, I, that I'm just very game. skeptical at this point. Like, honestly, I'm still going to be a sucker. I'm still going to buy the game. Like, we have confirmation, boys. It's Save that really, clip. <laughs> you heard it here first, right here on the oh Complain Network. It's literally painful to say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I I I tried to timestamp that clip where I got the first part of it where Zach's like bashing the game, but what he said is completely and utterly true. So that's why I also kept that in there. Um, but it is uh, what is it, February twenty third, twenty twenty. The game has been announced in September. Uh, no sign of Zach buying it, even his, at a discounted price. His jersey is in the rafters. Right now, over at uh, at Cat Stadium, it's fucking way up in the rafters. Like. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> so up there, can't even they see. They actually it. like they actually cut a hole in the ceiling so it could like <laughs> <laughs> so it could be outside. Oh Let me put God. it this way: there was a period in time where NHL was on sale for fifteen dollars for like a week, and he still didn't get <laughs> he it. Still didn't buy it, no, sir. Dude, whenever, no, sir. <laughs> whenever I come back to the game, I'm just gonna skate to center ice like. Hold my arms up and the jersey's just like gonna descend down on the <laughs> right, right, right. gonna fucking dress them. <laughs> I like that image. We gotta see if we can get that animation in there. That'd be fucking cool. Holy shit. No, um <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say there was a point where the jersey was kinda hanging over Sutter Ice, so we would just skate into it. But now it's through the ceiling. So he's gonna get the biggest ovation. He's gonna be stick tap center ice. We're all good. They had, to, they had to cut a hole in the ceiling in uh, Atlanta, North Korea. <laughs> <laughs> Atlanta, North Korea. Apparently where our team is located. Oh, Atlanta, man. North Korea. <laughs> um, <laughs> <Christ alive. laughs> so, so, yeah, we uh, our boy doesn't seem like he's coming back this year, but uh, David Ayers, if we get him on the cover for NHL 21, that is the next, uh, the next thing that Zach said that he would get the game for. So we'll see. I know after, <clears throat> I know after you said this clip, we kept like going back, and you're like, "Well, you said it, you said it on the podcast, and you were not budging. You were not, <laughs> you were not budging." And you were like, like, "I don't, I do not care." Hey, man, I'll give this to you. Fair play. I mean, we've, uh, it's, it's been a couple months now, and you have, you know, not back. Man down, sticks so. to his guns. You gotta, he you gotta, gotta to give him credit where credit is due. So yeah, fuck but that but, game is terrible. Nah, <laughs> you you're, not, you're not completely wrong, dude. I hear you guys play it, and you literally complain about the same exact problems that we had in the show. Uh, dude, I, I I've been putting in work, and let me tell you, yeah, let me Bobby tell you, has played more than man, bro. It's sure. definitely grown on me. Uh, I mean, yes, there are still problems, but I think I found a counter for most of them at this point. So, if you would like to be taught by the guru. You buy the game up, oh, and we'll schedule the a date. Guru now. Yeah, okay. the guru. I figured out how to deke. <laughs> that, that's oh why. Oh my god! A... Yeah, Bobby had Huge. fucking stone hands before. He's actually like pretty good now. Uh, kind of the butter. Uh, a month of practice, I guess so that'll do it for you. But yeah, mm -hmm. Zach, uh, just not backing down there. Um, but yep. another another memorable <laughs> moment from that. <laughs> EA too, like fuck EA in general. Oh yeah, no fuck yeah. EA. I'll have no problem saying that, but. I, I feel like when I was listening back to the podcast, too, I don't know who it was. I feel, I, for some reason, I want to say it was Brundy, actually. Like, just somebody was like, dude, EA is so fucking overrated. <laughs> they have a monopoly on sports games. They yeah. do, yeah. Except for basketball. They, have yeah. Have I ever shared my EA theory, or like my EA sports theory with, uh, like, on the podcast? What, the one, like, in terms of NHL? Like in in terms of NHL, yeah. But well, I, I guess forget. you could probably say the same thing about every yeah. every other. Uh, I, EA go game ahead. As well. yeah. Go for go for it. So I have a I have a theory that like I have yet to disprove <laughs> that EA Sports um, over time progressively makes their games worse to make their on purpose. Uh, to make next year's release look better. It, it's funny you so say like, that because they've been de denying like stuff like ice tilt for so long. And that's you're essentially yeah, they have yeah. a tilt on their games. <laughs> yeah. Huh. But so yeah, like that that's my theory. Yeah. And like I like 
every time I hop on NHL, like I, I legitimately think like I, I that's what I think all the time. I'm like this game is progressively like they they're like secretly updating the game to make it worse. Like it, you know they have you do an update for a ros- for a roster change. It's like, nope, they're like, all right, let's uh, downgrade this and let's just leave it at that. Uh, I, so you're, <laughs> yeah. you're suggesting they they're pulling... One switch, uh, they flip one switch and update. You're, you're suggesting they're pulling an Apple. Like, you know how Apple, like, uh, makes your phone run slower when... Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, so you're suggesting EA does that, but with their games. <laughs> Ex- exactly. That, oh, that my is God. my theory, and I, I think... I think it's like this close to being like a, a law instead of a theory. Okay, so I so <laughs> oh. I'll tell you what. In in June, we're gonna make it a topic about we're gonna test your theory. And if I'm complaining about NHL in June, you'll know for sure that something's up. All right, we'll write it, it down. So and, and we can yeah, start at yeah, Ty. You're usually the one writing on topics. You take this one. So yeah, I was gonna say I I remember Brandy said this back. It wasn't like even this year. It was like last year he said that. And uh, wouldn't that be funny though? You're like, man, this game feels. So- so much so, worse than it did a week ago. <laughs> yeah. So Especially. yeah. So my 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 thing was like, I, I think it was when NHL 19 was released. I was like, okay, like the the skating feels, um, or maybe it was 18. Um, but I was like, the skating feels like really nice. It feels a lot more clean, a lot more smooth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah. and then I remember the next year that NHL was released, we were saying the same thing, <laughs> and I was like. Like wait a second! <laughs> Didn't we say exactly that last year? And like, how can a, how can skating go from revolutionary to revolutionary? Yeah, that makes no sense to me. We'll have to go back and review. And like, I don't. Know, I mean, maybe we did see us. I mean, no, we didn't. We'll have to see. I want to definitely once. Uh, I think one. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to see. I mean, I, we talked about NHL nineteen pre release, and I don't remember us saying that. But we'll have to do comparisons at some point of what we said about NHL each year from on the podcast because we talk a lot about the game. I mean, we're just we're fans of the game for the most part. Uh, and and here's keep the thing it. too. Here's the thing too. Like NHL, like the the series, just it has so much potential. It really oh, dude. does, dude. And the the problem is, is that the company that makes it just does not give a shit nah. about their fan. Like. Yeah, you know they it's don't. bad when EA is literally dissing their own fans. Yeah, a lot of the conversation I'm hearing right now is the same conversation I heard from the times that I was watching our video, like oh, our yeah. videos, watching them back. I remember there was actually a specific. I you might have said the same exact thing you said a co- like 20 episodes ago because it was along the same lines. And um, see, so yeah, it, it's it's uh it's something we're always gonna bring up on the show because of how much we play it, but. Um. Yeah. I. I would not be surprised if that theory was right. It, it's. Uh, it, it, yeah. it, it's funny too. It's just uh, we we've bashed this company, but that we buy it. The only pe- person I respect for that company anymore is the guy who voices the fucking intro because of how iconic that is. That's literally it. Yeah. The only person I respect there anymore is the guy who does the fucking <laughs> intro. And I'm telling you, I'm telling you, one of these days, the company network. Once, once we make it on the big time, we're gonna start a fucking Chell league. That needs to happen. This, this needs yeah. to happen. Yeah, I, to swear to to God, I swear to God. I swear to God. Gonna be the commissioner. Zach's gonna commish. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Zach's gonna commish. Yo, no joke. I, I was driving by on my campus the other day. And there's a license plate in one of the freshman lots that the the license tag is literally commish. And it gave me a good <laughs> chuckle <laughs> because that's either a fantasy reference or something else. I like to think that it's a fantasy yeah. reference. But anyway, so um, we'll move on to Bobby again. Uh, OK, so before I get to the next one, do you book. mind if I take the reins for a little bit and highlight a few? Because sure. in my logging. Because uh, we split the episodes uh, amongst uh, three of us here to, to log and and and, and uh, uh, have these moments ready. So I had our first ever hot take episode, which was episode eleven, mm. which was uh, October twenty sixth. Uh, a couple good ones here. Um, I, I want to highlight uh, just a few of them once I remember how to how to work a computer. Um, we're gonna start off with Zach. Um, this moment uh, is just funny because of what his first hot take was in this episode and i think everyone remembers it just it was weird coming out of zach's mouth zach's a sports fan but he's definitely a lot more casual a lot especially when it comes to football so it was weird that he brought up a sports thing and it, it, with a hot take such as this it has to be highlighted so we're just gonna let everybody relive this one for a second come on you I don't like it, but that's kind of what you what you see, especially on the streaming side of things. 
But yeah, I just want to say that real quick. And Zach, we'll move on to you. Give us your first hot take. All right, so I'm going to bring it back to sports for this one. Oh, oh okay. Uh, okay. Oh, wow, Zach with yeah. the sports hot take. Yeah, yeah, it actually has a, another thing to do with sort of the hitting that's going okay. on. All right. Bring it back to the NFL. All right. If they didn't use pads, it'd be safer. <laughs> oh, <laughs> it use pads, it'd be safer. wait a second. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on no. a second. The, Hold the on. Players no, in no, the no, NFL did not. No, th- this is a legitimate thing. Safer. This is, is a legitimate boy. argument. <laughs> Yo, I'm which, not gonna lie, I forgot about that. Yeah, which we 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 talked about for a while, and Zach, what he kept saying on this whole thing was like, "Well, yeah, they're not gonna hate you if they're not wearing fucking armor." Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Quote from the show. Oh, I my. stand. I still stand by that. Today. Well, I think we were all we were all with you. I don't think anybody really disagreed. Uh, at least I, I, don't I, I think that's actually something that's been legitimately brought up. It has so because honestly, I actually I don't even know if it was that hot. But it, no, I, think I, after I read about the it initial before. Shock. I think after the initial shock of man being like, "What the fuck is this kid on about?" <laughs> I was like, "Okay, I can, you know, I, I yeah. can kind of see this." And then we but, accused um, uh, Richard Sermon and Akeem Talib of still being dirty players. Uh, <laughs> if, there, if there were no pets, <laughs> rent. Oh, that's okay. That's yeah. Him. That's what uh, we were, we're yeah. being accusatory. Yeah, you just wouldn't be inclined to fucking drill somebody <laughs> and have armor on, as I originally said. And he was talking that's about funny. how when he played football for a short time, he's like, they had us six girls doing hitting drills. You would have a number, <laughs> and they would call you, and you'd have to hit the other guy. Six grade <laughs> hitting, no, hitting I'm drills, serious, dude. Zach, I hitting drills is a big thing in football, man. Like, I, I oh, vaguely yeah. remember you uh, playing football in middle school. That's something. That's something they would make you do, and it was fucking awful. Like it was terrifying. <laughs> Brandy, I really because you, wish... you got fucking big old fucking I don't know TJ or something on the field. He's like, you're you're a sixth grader. You haven't developed yet, and fucking TJ is six four two fifty. And you're like, oh fuck, I'm gonna have to hit him. Like, I, I can tell you, our TJ on the show is definitely not six four yeah, two fifty. I was gonna say TJ. Come on now. Um, yeah, it wasn't a reference to you. It was just the first like name yeah. I thought of. Yeah, Brandy, we need. I wish a three year Letterman was Zach's football coach. Dude, Zach would be dead. Oh my god. Uh, um, I saw a tweet from him. Yeah, so some Blocking kids would grow would way faster great. than others. So you're like, you get matched up against the fucking giant on the team. You're about to get fucking hit. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny, man. I forgot. I forgot about that hot take. Okay, and then you said, I, "I'm scared because I know what mine was from this." And looking back, holy fuck. Well, I don't. But, so I don't know. The only one that I remember reading was the Aaron, Aaron Rodgers one. Or which one? Are you, oh, which one is the one? Good thing that's all you remember. No, go ahead. I may have ahead. to look through. Anyway, um, I want to. I ha- said the Twenty One Savage was the best rapper from Atlanta. <laughs> the- out. Oh, oh yeah. that's <laughs> right. That's right. Man. That's right. I did hear that. I, I forgot to-, to get away with that one, sir. <laughs> I, I, I for- forgot. I, I I remember hearing that, but I didn't log it. I remember. That's right. Yeah. And you went on to. Uh, well, you know what was funny? I actually forgot to log it, and I remember because I was I was uh, making dinner or whatever, or I was making coffee or whatever, and I was listening to this as I was logging, and I remember thinking, I'm like, I think this was before he got outed as British, like before we talked because we were talking it about was, it was yeah because we got into a discussion about um because you were looking at a list of rappers from Atlanta and you mentioned Kanye to which Zach said, well, he's from Chicago. And we yeah. were talking about whether being born in Atlanta or raised in Atlanta <laughs> was a different thing. And I was thinking in my head, I'm like, oh, man, so is he really going to be disappointed with 21 Savage nowadays? <laughs> the fact that he's yeah. really not from Atlanta. So uh, I just, yeah, um, that's right. I forgot about that take. But I'm not going to highlight that wasn't one. That, wasn't that take before that news came out? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, it was. Like yeah, it, it became, was well before, right before yeah. that came out. It was, or it was a while before I came out. But. That's one of the, that's still one of the weirdest stories that came out in 2019. I gotta say, yeah, it's <laughs> that like was bar weird. none. Anyway, I do want to highlight a couple of things. This one's not a hot take. I just want to highlight this real quick. I want you to hear this clip. What's the first incident you think of? And note, this is from October 26, 2018. And we were talking. I think this was further into the discussion about armor or the football equipment going off Zach's hot takes. This was further along into the discussion about that. What you gotta hear what I say, and I say something about helmets here. I want you to hear this. Dumb as it sounds, like the equipment they're they're using is, it, it could literally hurt somebody. I in think itself. it's making more dangerous, honestly. Because yeah, yeah, you you're can wearing be- a helmet. You're wearing a helmet, but if you clash heads with somebody, like your head gets fucking rocked. Oh, regardless. No. You, you can beat someone to death with the helmet, man. <laughs> oh no! Oh, 
Oh, oh no! You predicted Shout out to it. Shout you out to Miles Garrett <laughs> to beating Mason Rudolph <laughs> nearly to death with his football helmet. A little you over a year it. later, after I said that, that I just thought that was funny. funny. I thought it was funny that, that is, I had a link to that. That is funny. Yeah. So. Um, <laughs> um, wow. Yeah, I think uh, there was a couple things that from from the episodes I listened to, where I was like, "Oh, that was kind. That was either true." Or kind of yeah. true, like random shit like that that we just kind of said, like we just blurbed out, you know. Yeah. So, uh, and I want to highlight really two funny. more, just two more. Um. Uh. Yeah. This one, uh, was so Brendy had a couple of hot ones on this on this show. Um. <laughs> Not this is uh, this is, and they're both pretty I hot. Think, even I think today. I had a, didn't I have a didn't I have a third, but I had to leave, or was that the later? I one? think so. That I couldn't remember. Yeah. That with our second hot, second we do one. need to do a Hazek episode very soon. Um. Because we we did one for episode thirty, and it got lost. Uh. Because yeah. of Twitch's stupid rules. Um. About how long a, a vod stays up. So. Um. I do want to highlight this first one. Uh. And we'll we'll, we'll talk about that for a second. So here we go. Fuck. <laughs> So Fortnite is a very popular game, uh, or like you know, it, it was like huge, you know, especially during like season three and four, you know, during its prime, obviously. Mm-hmm. Um, and now with the release of Black Ops Four Blackout, that's um, that's a pretty big success as well. Um, so here's my t- here's my hot take. Fortnite, um, Fortnite's done. Go fuck um, yourself. <laughs> so here we have Brandy when was saying this episode from October 26, so, 2018. Okay, so 2018. Yeah, so 2018, <laughs> Brandy makes the claim that Fortnite's dead, and we get into a conversation about Blackout because right before that came out, Black Ops 4, and how that's going to kill Fortnite. Um, we kind of disagreed on that point a little bit, but it was it was more about the Fortnite being dead thing. I think we have all in brendy's defense i think we have all on this show at some point said the game was dying at at some point it was just a matter of how early i could like i found this and like the big world cup just happened a few months ago and the game is still thriving I i will say i really actually do enjoy watching the world cup um one thing i will say about fortnite in general though that fortnite back when i said that Compared to now, nothing like not nothing is the same. No, nothing yeah, at all. It's completely different. Nothing at all. Yeah, and I know I, Brendy has one episode logged here where one of the big things happened that Tyler was a fan of. Uh, on uh, no, on, I'm not yeah. a fan of. Yeah. Well, I was I was about to bring that up because uh, I guess I guess when I would have said the game was dying or gonna die was when the mechs when the mechs came in the game, but uh, that was. When did did Fortnite come out in that that summer of 2018? Uh, or was it 2017? It was it was during my sophomore year of college, which would that have been nobody. summer. I know I'm 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 getting there. <laughs> Give me a second. Uh-huh. My sophomore uh-huh. year of college, so I think it was the summer of 2017 because Ninja started getting traction around that time. Like, okay. So, so I believe like it was after. summer of 2017 when they added Battle Royale and everything. I yeah, think. you know what it was because I didn't start playing until the summer of 2018. Yeah, and then we did we off started too. the podcast. Yep. Yeah. So okay. So um, would you got Brundy? Would you say as of right now the game is dead? Like the uh, current day. Because I, I honestly don't I, I, I don't know because I haven't played it since um, the release of season two, um, right? Or not for season two, chapter two. That's what I meant to say. Um, yeah. So I can't really a hundred percent say, but I I don't know. I'll, I'll give an incomplete answer for. I now. was gonna say. I mean, we haven't played for months, we haven't played. and and I was uh, never a fan. You know. Look, and I don't game, think it's dead, but I will say I think it's definitely past its prime. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, I mean, yeah. that 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 game had some, you know, in terms of recent games. I mean, one of the highest points I would say, uh, and just in terms of popularity and stuff like that. And I think it maybe has not completely run its course, but it's definitely past its prime, as Zach said. Yeah, like yeah. seasons think, like. Uh, seasons three, four, and five were like my favorite, undoubtedly. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. 
I don't even. I think I it's know. definitely gotten to a point where it's kind of like plateaued, and like where people are like it's yeah. still pretty popular and people are playing it, but it's not like yeah, it doesn't have that same hype it as oh, it did. You know, yeah, yeah I could definitely see you know, that two years or a year ago. Right. Yeah, and, but I don't think it'll die anytime soon completely. Right, but um, I think that but, happens to every game. It just yeah. it depends on the longevity of the game because. I mean, there's still people playing Black Ops 3, but you could easily argue that that game is dead, you know? Right. Yeah, well, at least right. for something yeah, like and, Fortnite, right. though, that a Battle Royales have a longer life, lifespan than, like, say, a Call of Duty game. Because Call of Duty comes out every year, and that was pointed out right. at, on this podcast at one point uh, by Brendy. Um, but at least for something like Fortnite, where there really is no sequel or next release, you know, they can just kind of keep updating this game and making it better. So it, it'll be interesting to see how long they kind of keep that up before it completely either dies and maybe they decide oh well we're gonna make Fortnite 2 or or something like that um because i know they're making overwatch 2 which is the most confusing move yeah. ever i don't yeah, I, get I don't, that I don't know one about, i don't know about that one it, it's it's weird I, I i think it's extremely weird you could have you you you've already doing a good job of updating that game for the most part i mean you know all the i'm sure malachi would have a lot to say about this but uh you know I, I don't know. That's a weird move. I really think they were trying to divert from a certain crisis they were dealing with personally, but that's a whole other conversation. I am not going to yeah. do right now. So, um, no, I, I don't say. I mean, are you talking about the M word? Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Um, had to make sure. <laughs> no, but I. It was definitely a hot take back in 2018 uh, <laughs> for. For uh, Fortnite dying. So you said you had one more clip. Correct? One more. Uh, and this is another hot take from Brendy, and it kind of transitions over into the sports realm. Uh, he has something to say about the Falcons and the Broncos that I think everybody would be interested to hear. Again, the date of this podcast, October 26, 2018. So just keep that in mind as you hear this clip. And if it'll be. Okay. I'm going to have, and this is despite. You know, this is despite their record right now. I'm going to say, here's part one. I'm going to say that the Falcons, they're still going to get in the playoffs as a wild card. No! <laughs> yeah. That is not and, happening! And, no chance. Okay. And, all right. All right. And let, Dude, that is fucking no. like, that is piping hot, bro. <laughs> no, no, no. All right. All right. Part two. <laughs> part two. All right. Go ahead. As Bobby continues Part two. <laughs> Go. Part two is... Uh, Go fuck yourself. Coming from the AFC. I okay. think the Broncos as well are also going to have a wild card what? spot. That's what? fucking hot, too. They <laughs> suck, bro. <laughs> oh, but I'm Broncos, man. They can fuck, all right? <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> so, oh, uh, we fact... We fact checked this after, or just to, before the show. So the Falcons finished seven and nine, and I'm pretty sure the Broncos finished uh, five and eleven. I want to say, or something like that. Um, so October, this was what probably halfway through the season. It was October so. 26th, yeah. So, so yeah, about that so point. about halfway through the season, and uh, that didn't end up happening. Falcons were much closer. I think for me, the bigger point with, was uh, to that was. Uh, the fact that um, he said that the the Broncos were going to get in as Case Keenum was their starting quarterback, uh, you know that that was a tough take. Yeah. But it was it, so you know. Brendy's reasoning. Uh, what did kind of make sense? He was talking about that the later half of of the Falcons' schedule that year was easier, and it was one of the easiest yeah. in the league, like ranking wise. So his take yeah. was kind of backed up by something legitimate, but it, it still did not pan out as as well as he had hoped. Yeah, the funny thing is, I think the Broncos were actually closer than the Falcons. No, no, the Broncos. Wait, yeah, no, no, no. they they sucked. <laughs> like I said, I <laughs> they, think well, they, I mean, they they both sucked. But I I'm mean, trying. I think the Broncos were finished all... like five and eleven. I want to say yeah. they were six and ten. I checked before. Six. Oh so yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking of the year before. That's right. That's right. Um, yeah. Um, you know, all these bad seasons just get jumbled up. You know. Uh, yeah. but yeah, I think you know. The Falcons was a little bit supported, but either way, I still think I'm not even look. I like Twenty One Savage, like he, you know, I like him, but I know not a lot of people like him. But that was probably the hottest take on that. Show, it it was. I, I don't know. I forgot to log <laughs> it on the sheet, which is why I didn't play it originally. Otherwise, I would probably would have played that one. Uh, which Zach had some things to say for. He wasn't immediately jumping on him in this episode, but he was definitely talking about uh, 
And he's just yeah. like, okay, no. So, and but it yeah. did lead to a decent conversation about music in general. So it did kind of yeah. pan itself out. So um, I, that, that was good. So definitely I, go revisit I, that I, episode. A lot of our takes kind of stand for the most part there. Um, I talked about... Um, I talked about head hits. At least in our opinion. Obviously, you can disagree. It's not fair. Oh, of course. We want people to disagree with us and tell us we're wrong. We just we just want to hear. But uh Yeah, and if you tell us we're wrong, fuck you. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> if you I don't talk- you big red, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> I talked about head hits. Tyler talked about Swan Savage and Aaron Rodgers and uh Brandy with the Falcons of Fortnite and Zach was I forget what his second one was, but he was talking about the, the obviously the football with no pads. But so there's a lot of a lot of cool stuff in there. So definitely that's an episode definitely look back on that's still kind of relevant yeah. today. So uh, but that yeah, was all from I, episode we, eleven. I was gonna say we've talked about now we have like these three, you know, this episode and we have two more special episodes coming up. So talk about that later. Uh, but we Yeah, I was gonna say we will, but we um we will have a hot take episode at some point because those are always fun. Mm-hmm. But man, not pro- not proud of that take. Um, <laughs> Brandy, did you want me to go? Or do you want to take? I'll I'll, I'll get I'll give a I'll give a quick one. So you guys mentioned a special episode. I'll bring this to episode uh, episode forty. Uh, this was actually our first Jeopardy episode. Which mm-hmm. again, I went back and watched that whole thing today, and like honestly, I'm really proud of the questions that I, that I um you did have really that I did. Yeah, you did great. The, that the was only, really fun. The only thing I. The only thing I would have changed was the final Jeopardy question, the one about Michael Vick. Yeah. But other than that, I I uh, I I'm I'm happy about how that episode turned out. So uh, this was, <laughs> um, as we were just kind of getting warmed up, kind of getting used to the um, whole uh, Jeopardy format. Uh, I was host, and those three knuckleheads were uh, contestants, and uh, and uh, yeah, just go ahead and play the clip. Yeah, I, I want to say, I want to point out real quick, I'm looking at the video, because uh, I'm looking at the YouTube version of it, and I love how all of us were in the negatives at this point. Oh, and I will say, Zach had a, like, superb lead in the beginning, and we were, yeah. we were all shocked. Yeah, yeah, honestly. I mean, I lost all some bullshit, but, you know, <laughs> I, I still won in my mind. It's okay, Zach, you have a right, chance to redeem yourself soon, more on that later. Alright, here we go. Yeah, go ahead. you guys. Uh, all time music. You said a hundred. Yes. All right. For a hundred dollars, this rapper released encore, entitling him to his fifth studio album released back in two thousand four. Tyler, or uh, sorry, Zach. Damn. <laughs> Who is Eminem? <laughs> sorry, what, was Zach? Who is Eminem? Correct. Bro, you can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so Tyler, I had to get Tyler's, Tyler's little hopes up. Yeah. <laughs> like Tyler, <we're> Zach! <laughs> Dude, you asked a lot of music questions, and my knowledge of music is kind of... Well, unmatched. I mean, I had a music category, so... Yeah, yeah. where I caught up was the, I mean, the logos. Yeah, well, I'm, we all yeah, knew that question. Logos. We all knew that question. Yeah. Yeah. But... That, I, I actually thought that clip was, like, Zach fucking typing something, like, inappropriate. Because, like... How we did it was we ha- all had like separate DMs that we were sending um, Brendy. So it was like the first one that to come in would be the one that like it was a buzzer yeah. essentially. And and I thought it was that, but yeah, yeah, that was a fun that was a fun episode. Uh Brendy, you know, again, we'll talk about this later. Long story short, we're planning another episode. And you put a lot of pressure on me because, yeah, your questions were really good. And, like, the way you presented them was really good. And I already know I'm not going to compete with that. So, like, yeah. I'm trying to, like, just make it. I'm going to have to listen back to that, honestly, and just, like, kind of see how you did it and uh, try to be as professional as possible. But I remember your questions were hard as fuck, though. Yeah. That's that's why we were on I, the negative. See, they're, they were hard because, like, I got to, like, ask questions that are, like, I feel like anyone could anyone can answer and like ones that are like challenging. It's like yeah. I don't want to I don't want to just be like oh you know who's the who played number twenty three for the Bulls in yeah you know whatever. But uh, yeah. I, I got I got I got to make sure that there's a lot of there's a bit of a challenge. I, I was gonna I say wanna, I got to make you guys think. You know it yeah. was good. I mean I appreciated that, but I'm because I think like. You know, we did the the normal Jeopardy scale, and I'm pretty sure at one point I was like negative two thousand. Let me skip ahead a little bit. Let me see if I can find like any of that that, that info. 
Oh, like I I'm said, it was see. it was the logo. Yeah. Part oh, where yeah. I came so back. at one point, about thirty three minutes into the show, Tyler was at negative two thousand. I was at negative eleven hundred, and Zach was at eight hundred positive. Like, <laughs> yeah. So Zach <laughs> had funny, a man. just a commanding lead throughout most of this, and then it got fucked over at the end. Like, just absolutely. Uh, I I will say he, you know, fucked over whatever. I remember the one question that pissed me off. It was a thousand dollar question. And it was like something about the Cats Clan or whatever. It was like a thousand. He Zach got oh, a yeah. thousand dollars because it was a Cats Clan question, which he, he started. On a, yeah, yeah. So what was here's the thing though. Like you guys all know the answer to that. All it came down to uh, yeah, was, it was a just, matter of who buzzed in first, and he was, just happened yeah. to do it. I think it was just the fact that I was doing so bad, and he was in the lead, and it was a thousand dollar question. <laughs> I, I, specif- I specifically remember like okay, I threw that in there because I was like. Look, if at this point of the show, it could be like, okay, everyone could be in the super negative. So I got to get some sort of hype yeah. back up. <laughs> yeah. is, and you know what? That is fair. <laughs> yeah, it's um, totally fine. I understand I, that. Because that was a round two question, right? Yes. Uh, yes. I think so. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so, you know, a fair point there. But don't um, let me down, Tyler. I know. <laughs> Tyler well, is hosting just, the next one in case you haven't picked up on that already. Yeah, a lot of. Lot so, of me, pressure, Brandy, and pressure. Zach will be the contestants uh, for the next um, one. Yes, sir. I remember months ago I started a spreadsheet of like topics, possible topics. So, I need to look back at that because I've forgotten. But, yes, we will talk about that in a bit. The next one I, I want to talk about is Brandy has had a uncanny uncanny fucking every time we start a podcast for like the first like i want to say 20 episodes oh, he was making this. so much <laughs> fucking noise for this we got episode 19 okay before before you play the clip i'm curious is it better now oh it's much better now no, much my, better. you got a new chair which i got a new chair. chair my micro my mic doesn't pick up as much as my typing so so this is from episode 19, and in my timestamps, I have put, uh, you know, the timestamp, and I had labeled it, Brendy Drops His House. <laughs> Take a listen. Hey, here we go. Old video games that we used to play as kids. Uh, everybody is oh. here today. Already! <laughs> we're, no, it, we're, we're, we're 15 seconds in! Um, oh, I'm sorry. Did you drop I, your phone? No, it wasn't my phone, but I just want to let you know I cannot help the force of gravity, Tyler. <laughs> uh, yeah, I love it's it. always Brent. So I love it. I don't think I've I, I don't it. think I've ever actually explained in. exactly right. what that um, is. Hold on. What yeah, was I don't that? Think I've ever, yeah, so um for some reason I specifically remember, didn't we do that podcast like really early in the morning? It was February first, twenty nineteen, so we were still recording. I, that makes sense. We had a couple yeah. episodes like that. Because I, I, I sp- well, the reason I say that is because I specifically remember Rachel May waking up. So, um, it was actually something like Rachel May had like bumped in. So like, um, she had just came out of the bedroom. She had just woken up, and I guess there was something like hanging off of the shelf. I think what it was, it was like, you know, those um, like those scented lamps where like you can put like a scent in and like yes. the scent melts. Yes. Yeah. Um. I, and I so I, I had a um had like a full tray of that, and uh, there there was like an empty box like right right underneath where it was. So what happened was I guess Rachel May had bumped into this the um the box of scents and it fell into the box and that's why it made that that really loud like projection noise. <laughs> and, it was uh, just the fact that you had been notorious for this. And it was literally at the start of the podcast, like it was right just, off the bat. I don't know yeah. if Zach was there for that, where we would have done a thought of the week. But if we were, it would have been before the thought of the week. I think I was there. For he, that. Was, he was. He was. We just like because we had just finished grilling him for like <laughs> for like hearing his clicking and typing and stuff. And like, well, yeah, like you said, we were not even fifteen seconds into it. We hear this loud crash in the background. Yeah, but yeah, that, that's what that was. And and thankfully it's gotten better. But yo, know, like I rem- I again listening back, and Bobby probably got this more than I did. But listening back to his earlier episodes, there were just so many times where just fucking clicking all the time, just shit like go like his chair just squeaking every fucking second. And I was like, Jesus, dude. I, I well, mean, see, I, chair, I know I'm so no better. You guys can't even see. So yeah. <laughs> I know I'm still no better. Like you can still hear this. 
Like, and that, that happens sometimes. Yeah. But it, 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 Brendy's was a whole nother level where you can go back to the podcast. You will hear just throughout us talking, just clack, 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 you, clack, It's clack, so clack, loud. Clack, you could probably hear every word he's typing. Like, yeah. you could figure it out. Yeah. You could probably, probably, probably figure it out. All right. See you, Tyler. All right. And Tyler, <laughs> cut. Tyler. I, I, I swear. Uh, no, I I think I have to. Are go you into getting my, like a hotkey or something? No, I think that's my webcam setting. I think it's like every hour it automatically turns off or some what? shit. I, I don't it's know. Like a that's privacy the only setting. Thing. Because like it was it was about an hour ago it happened where it just logs me out and then puts me right back on the call, but it turns my camera off. Jeez. I don't know why. Okay. Uh, I, mean, I, I just I need to make another image for when somebody's webcam cuts out and it messes up the call because. For those watching, um, I have no easy way of doing this with the webcams, just for the record. I, Brendy, I, uh, <laughs> you have a good picture, so it's, it's fine. You have just a red fox. Yeah. So you're, you're good. But. Hey, red panda. Uh, red panda. Sorry. Red, red fox. Red panda. So it's like, uh, I have to make Discord full screen and set four different screen recordings or, or uh, monitor uh, scenes on, on uh, open broadcast software and crop it to everybody's webcam, which is the yeah. jankiest way to do it, but it's the only way I can do it. And if somebody's watching goes, oh, why not use Skype NDI? I did. I tried. Audio is still shit. Skype is still shit. Just saying. So there, there's, yeah. there's, there's your answer. So until we get yeah, like... Skype is garbo. Uh, until we get like an office or something... You know, where we can have cams in each of our offices and they can be hooked into my computer. This is what you get. So sorry about that. But you're going to you're, you're, yeah, make a graphic for when somebody's web. I think I'm literally going to make a graphic that says that has a logo and it's looking nice and says webcam cut is what it's going to say. It's literally all it's going to say. And then that's that's how everyone's going to know. So anyway. Anyway. We should all just take pictures of our assholes, and it just shows that picture yeah, whenever you cut go. out. There you go. Well, Bobby's that's, fine. You don't have to do that. He's already done it. Yep. Absolutely. Uh, but yeah, I, I gotta look at my settings. I don't know why. It just turns off my camera and then it's like, oh, okay, I'm good to go. Uh, I actually but, don't know uh, why I'm not using... I'm using a picture of Zach and I realize I actually kind of like how the red panda, uh, red panda's crop for Brendy. I wonder, do I have it down there? Yeah, there's Zach's logo, Stanley Cup champion, Atlanta Thrashers. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Yeah. So, you know, I'm gonna that's use gonna that. Say, Fuck his picture. See. So, I'm just gonna that's use that. Say, that's, that's what I see. Uh, <laughs> but, yeah, it, I just... I don't get it. Anyway, uh, yeah. getting back on track. Uh, I guess Bobby. I don't know yeah, if you, okay. how much more you have, but uh, no, I, I'm next. I'm good. I, I got plenty. Trust me. Um, okay, so uh, this is this has to be the big one for us. Okay, uh, mm. because we as a podcast have never been more wrong about anything. Oh yeah, ever. Yeah, and we have to <laughs> highlight this and give credit where credit is due. Um, you're gonna have to wait a little bit and kind of listen just a tad and hear kind of what we're talking about, um, because we're talking about something else, but make this mention. But we've said this numerous times on the show, numerous mm-hmm. times. I actually think I actually, you know what? If you let me do two episodes, um, we said it twice yeah. in in very uh, distinct ways. So I'm gonna go okay. to episode two first for the first one because I believe this was our first mention of this. It definitely um, was. So let me let's let's just listen to it and you'll you'll see immediately kind of what I'm talking about and how wrong we are. Hindsight's always twenty twenty, right? <laughs> yeah. Thanks. So here we go. Hot number, take. Number two, I have the Chiefs. Um you know, I, I don't know if Patrick Mahomes is going to be um you know available <laughs> right from the start. I I'm not entirely sure. If um, he's going to be an immediate baller, um, but my the reason I have the Chiefs in number two is mainly because of um, I don't believe in the Chargers as much as everyone else does. Um, I'll have the Chargers at number three. Um, just we okay, so we I, I think we all reiterated that point. Like we did. I, so, uh, if you want to go back, it was episode three uh, from August twenty fourth, twenty eighteen. I specifically remember saying that uh, before before we were talking about the upcoming season, and before the that coming season, Patrick Mahomes had played in one game. It was the last game of the season, the season before um, against the Broncos, because it was like a garbage game or whatever. Yeah, and I specifically said I was just like I don't know if 
Mahomes is going to be anything. Like, I just haven't seen anything yet. Yeah. And we, we so, get to we get to this later. Go ahead, Brandy. Sorry, while I'm, while I'm pulling this up. Go ahead. I was just going to say, so a lot of the reason why I did not have as much of a belief in Patrick Mahomes as, like, some experts may have. So, like, like a few months before the draft, the top three, this was the 2017 draft, right? Yes. Um, yes. Yeah, I believe so, yes. yeah. And um, I, I I know I know in that clip we were talking about what the 2018 season, mm-hmm. um, so it, obviously a year had passed. But I remember specifically back in 2017, um, the top three quarterbacks that were like a few like a month or two before the draft, the top three quarterbacks in that draft were Mitchell Trubisky, Deshaun Watson, and Deshaun Kaiser, and um, for some reason like. A week before the draft, all of a sudden people had Patrick Mahomes going like top ten, and I, I for the life of me, I did not understand why. And I think it's because of his workouts, mm-hmm. like his pre-draft workouts. Um, and I guess I just didn't really follow that, but um, but that was one of the main reasons why I just I didn't um believe in him. Yeah, and we all reiterated similar sentiments for different reasons. Uh, so two episodes later. Um, we return to this topic, uh, and and discuss Patrick Mahomes, and this is what we said uh, two episodes later. That game last year meant nothing, and teams were playing backup, so I don't really, you know, count that. So uh, I think he is going to struggle against a really good defense that are going to throw uh, different looks at him. Uh, I have the Chargers winning uh, twenty-one to ten, and then our last game. Here. Yeah, so that so that was we were predicting, and I I want to go see what his stats were for that game. But um, the premise of this is that this was a theme for a while where we were all getting on Patrick Mahomes for a while and didn't think he was going to be the fucking MVP, even though he didn't deserve it in the Super Bowl, yeah. that he is now. I mean, the dude came out, proved us all wrong, like and he, it's like funny he, listening to it. <laughs> he literally won the MVP and we were talking about him. Like yeah. That. Oh, yeah. We, we were talking we, shit. We, we ragged on him for so long. I mean, and, and not oh, for nothing. I mean, yeah. we've seen a ton of QBs at this point come from, from draft classes in the past couple of years that have just completely flopped. Mahomes was definitely not one of them. So Yeah, I I mean, look, it was. I guess if you had any defense for us, look, we hadn't really seen much of him. At that point, I was not a college football fan uh, until, like, that season. So, like, I, I didn't see him. And, and yeah, man, like, he... You know, I'm a, I'm a Broncos fan, so I've always hated the Chiefs, one of our biggest rivals. But like, it's hard to hate that dude. Like, that guy's a baller, and yeah, and he seems to be all that, right off the field. I, and I, I think that is probably our worst. Like, as a podcast, that, that is our worst take, the worst thing that, we that ever agreed on. And yeah, and look, yeah, for I know my reasoning, and and Brady was was talking about his reasoning. You heard that already. I was talking about my reasoning was like I have. Uh, I like to see rookies succeed, but a lot of the time, especially in the quarterback position, I know that it ends badly for them most of the time. Unless you're my uncle, who I play in a fantasy league with, he has, he thinks that every rookie has this massive upside. He's like a, think of like a stock trader who thinks like they found like the company to get into before they like (laughs) skyrocket and he makes a ton of money. He does that with rookies when he drafts. And this is a season long. So like he'll go in and pick like a rookie. Like third round, what the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I, and and I it, you know I I can't tell about his success rate. He has won the Super Bowl in a while, so there's your answer. But uh, yeah. it, it's just it, it's just funny how wrong we were about Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, man. That like I said, that was probably the outcome of that was probably the worst. That yeah, we, <laughs> we worst had, take but... we ever had. Patrick Did Mahomes. You you had one... Yeah, uh, uh, Patrick Mahomes. I want to say something. You're a good fucking dude watching. and a good fucking quarterback, and I am fucking sorry that we ever yeah. said anything to say otherwise. Keep doing what you're so doing. He, you're a fun rival to play, and this is coming from a Pats fan. So, wait, this was this last year was only his second year in the league, wasn't it? Like yep. his second f- full season where he played. That's correct. Crazy. <laughs> 
So his first year, he didn't play except that one game. Then he won the MVP. And then he's a Super Bowl winner with a Super Bowl MVP. <laughs> oh, he gets God. worse. We were wrong. Wrong. Oh, Just dead wrong. Man. So, there Did you, you go. Did you say you had one more clip with that, or was that, was that it? No, but I do want to highlight real quick while we're on takes. Yeah. Uh, this was a similar take that I had that actually turned out okay. Uh, and I think Tyler's still a little bitter about this sometimes. I just got to remember where it's, uh, where it's from here. Uh, I believe it's from episode three. Uh, we were going through our, uh, I think our NFL predictions for the season. Um, Mm -hmm. and I had this hot take about a certain team that, uh, ended up panning out. Um, even though I was getting called crazy for this. So let's, uh, let's listen in on this third here. I have the Colts. Um, what talk what? about a hot take <laughs> oh my god uh, talk about a hot take uh so i i'm basing this just off of andrew luck for what yeah so here i'm this is a very very long stretch i know this but uh i felt like making this interesting Simply there, I'm, I'm I'm waiting for the comeback. However, I am fully aware that they can easily take for it. Uh, the Texans did not have a good showing last year or last season. Uh, that that that's also for a couple of things as well, injuries and, and so yeah, forth. And you can you, you can argue that I I am aware of that, but for the most part, they really have no power to them, at least the way I see it. So I I can see the Texans having a pretty bad year. Uh, at the same time, it's not like the Texans are going to go, you know have only two wins or that's the gist of it you want to tell me how that turned out tyler <laughs> yeah i'm still bitter about that man hey you were right about well the big thing you write about is i mean andrew luck was the reason the colts had such a successful season yeah got the wild card i believe mm-hmm. and they had a good later half man, of the season if i remember correctly i because th- you had that and then uh didn't you have the take on the ravens to making the playoffs Yes, or... I, I had I had the Ravens in the wild card, which I remember right. specifically because I my roommate is a, a ma- you know from Baltimore, so he's a massive Ravens fan. And I went up to him and said, "Hey, we, you know, because he was asking about the podcast." I said, "Yeah, we did our NFL predictions." And I said to him, "Oh yeah, I, by the way, I put the Ravens in the wild card." He goes, "That's generous." <laughs> yeah, and they ended up getting uh, the wild card, so I, I was right about that one too. But the Colts one was what got me screamed at and chirped at for weeks. I'm going to hit you with a uh, quick transition here, so be ready. Because on that take, uh, we had uh, the roommate he's referring to has been on the podcast before. Mm-hmm. Um, his name is John. And, he's a good dude. Uh, good dude. He is, he is a good dude. And we had him on um, talking about, this was after the Joe Flacco trade to the Denver Broncos. Um, this was episode 20. And uh, we had him on to talk about that and uh, I think we talk about some other NFL stuff and you know obviously this past year Lamar Jackson had a breakout year also won the MVP um <laughs> and there was a lot of doubt about him obviously coming out of college and there's a lot of a lot of people that weren't sure about him his arm accuracy everybody's saying he's just a running back um so in episode 20 uh John the Ravens fan had this to say about Lamar Which, in my opinion, I think just to go back to uh, Joe's quarterback rating, he was hitting his receivers in, in the hands. They would just drop it. So, mm-hmm. that, so that is something to say about uh, our receivers, not necessarily Joe Flacco. But to jump back to Lamar, Lamar, I have a feeling that teams like teams will be able to figure out Lamar. Uh, they'll make him throw, and they'll. I just need to stop there for a second. Because what did I say about Lamar after uh, we realized how much of a stud he was? That literally nobody can play him at all. All right, hold yeah. on. Fi- let's finish this clip. I just want to uh, make him like have to extend plays with his arm, yeah. uh, not with his feet. And that that's odd because typically you would think that it's reversed. But with Lamar, his main weapon is his legs right now. And it was the downfall of Michael Vick, and it'll be the downfall of Lamar if he can't figure out how to throw the ball consistently. <laughs> it will be the downfall oh, of Lamar. Lamar. Yeah, you gotta show jo- you gotta show John this clip. Yeah, I know. Way. I got I'll go bug him about it tomorrow. So I will say, um, Lamar Jackson has become 
a really good um a really good pocket uh pocket thrower yeah yeah like re- he, really yeah because yeah. everybody was talking like oh this guy's a running back and that was a joke this year with them and you know what what john said in that clip that that really you know stuck out obviously was if he can't figure out how to throw it he's gonna basically not be able to right. succeed well, that that was that was kind of one of the reasons why um you, you know he played for Louis like back in Louisville like that's why a lot of people had doubts on him coming out of, yeah. into the draft because like he wasn't really that much of a thrower like he could throw but it's like nothing like what it is now and, and not to mention a shout out to uh, John Harbaugh who has really like you know he he what he's installed for the Ravens offensively to do there I mean it just suits Lamar's skills and that's why they were so successful this year um. But man, I, I, look, I'm sure John is happy he was wrong about that because Lamar's a hell of a player. Asterisk. But asterisk. Oh yes, yeah, so we have talked. He 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 does have concerns about the running though. He doesn't want him to turn into RG three. He get he gets uh, extremely like so I, obviously because so I go to school in the Baltimore area, and so we we get all the games on cable because we have cable in our dorms. Yeah, and and so I, I watch a lot of Ravens with him this season, and every fucking time every time he had the ball and ran it you know scrambled ran it out you would you would see him get tense and you would see stop it stop it and i'm saying like what the fuck are you complaining about are you kidding me most people would kill to have this type of quarterback he is fun to watch he's insane in all aspects of being a quarterback he is everything about the new generation of a quarterback that everybody should want to copy the guy who can scramble, keep a play alive, get a first down off of that, be able to essentially throw off his back foot, throw in the pocket. He's everything, man. Seriously. And the culture with him now and the Ravens is beautiful. You, you, I don't know if you saw like a mic'd up. I forget what game it was. He threw an interception and all his dudes were like, dude, we're still riding with you. We still yeah. know you're the man. Like, I mean, just there's a culture. <laughs> and I guess we also got to say to the Ravens management that, man, good for you for sticking with John Harbaugh like there were yeah. uh, there was a good yeah, stint where you could have easily gotten rid of him and no one would have batted an eye at you and now look at you right. you're 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 riding yeah. high and like, I mean it really before Lamar had his emergence there was a lot excuse me a lot I remember there was rumors of Harbaugh going to Denver because they yeah. weren't happy with him in Baltimore and man I would have loved that but what he's done there yeah it's, it's crazy mm-hmm. and you know a very successful season for them and you know, you would imagine, and the other thing about that too is John saying, you know, I don't think, you know, defenses are going to start to figure him out. Yeah. I mean, look, they ran the option and all that all year, and they, they couldn't. So, dude, I I said uh, literally like like the I so when the ASC, you know, when the playoffs started this season, you know, the 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 uh, team I said, I'm like, look, the Ravens are good, but it's not even about you know because I I have been very critical of the Patriots number one ranked defense i i've been highly yeah. critical of this and no one could take that away from me by the way uh <laughs> and, and and i what i said was you know as as good as the pets defense actually is you know number one is debatable but they are a solid defensive core but the fact that literally nobody throughout the entire season could figure out lamar jackson and anything on that offense is scary Crazy. so that and especially yeah. since we got the wild card and I'm like, okay, we might be able to be Tennessee when we get to the Ravens. We're gonna have some trouble. Well, apparently, both of us should have been scared of the Titans. It ended up happening yeah. there. So, um, but it, it, I, I was, I was convinced the Ravens were about to make this run, and I'm still convinced next year, man. This is, you know, I think yeah. Lamar is gonna have yeah, a bigger chance, fire yeah. under his ass than he already has. So, you know, just yeah. you gotta, you gotta watch. Yeah, I, I listened back then. I forgot about that that we had him on for that. But um, mm. like I said, John's probably happy he was wrong about that. Uh, let's move to Brendy. If you have something else, um, if not, I have other things. <laughs> yeah, I've, I've got I've got one more for y'all. Mm-hmm. Um, so this is actually um, one of my all time favorite stories that I've ever told. <laughs> um, so this is coming from episode thirty nine. Uh, this is in an episode of In Case You Missed It, where I explain. I, I started off by asking, "Have you guys ever accidentally snuck something past an airport that you, or like past uh, airport security that you didn't mean to?" Um, 
And I, Tyler, I think you said like some cologne or something. Yeah, Bobby, I don't remember yeah. if you said anything. No, I don't fly enough, so I, I doubt um, it. I just said I got stri- but, um, I got almost strip searched at one point for nothing. So right, and the reason I asked that is because I was thinking, or I saw the story about um, someone from jail that managed to sneak some weed in, and I asked <laughs> the boys, "Is like, all right, boys, how do you?" Uh, I was like, how do, how do you think you snuck it in? And I think all of you guys like said through the, you know, asshole or whatever. <laughs> through the asshole. Um, <laughs> through the asshole. Yep. Um, but uh, go ahead and play the clip and we'll see exactly how some guy managed to sneak in some weed into jail. We got like a two minute clip here just to let y'all know. So, yeah. Mm, Naturally. Um, and you're, you're always going to try to find a way to uh, get around mm-hmm. the system. So. Yep. So there's this, uh, you know, this man in the uh, in, in the United Kingdom. Uh, so he was he's uh, he's been a bad boy. He's gonna go to prison. Um, but you know, while he while he's in prison, you know, he's gonna want to you know light up a joint, you know, smoke some weed. Uh, but you know, it, it you know it's not gonna be allowed while you're in prison. So what does he do? Where do you think he he uh, hit a joint? Yeah, Just up I'm his sure. ass. Yep, <laughs> not up his ass. Even, no, wait, it's, it's not up his ass. What? If you say, what I, I think swear to God, no, already. it's not. It's not what you think it is. All right, cool. All right, we're cool. <laughs> we're square. Uh, I'm glad you read that. By the way, <laughs> just 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 just, yeah. just for the record, um, yeah. Dude, dude, uh, do you, uh, I'll just go hey, ahead and yeah, say go, it. Go he ahead, attempted to. He attempted to smuggle can. Wait, what were you saying, Brendan? Go ahead. I was just gonna ask. I was just gonna ask Tyler if he if he remembered this story. No, I, I don't honestly. Okay, rewind that like about five seconds if you can. Sure. Okay. Yeah, just give me one second. Turn it back. Right. Wait. <laughs> it, it's not up his ass. What? If you say what, I, I think swear to God, no, already. it's not. It's not what you think it is. All right, cool. All right, we're cool. <laughs> we're square. Um, he had. I'll just go ahead and yeah, say go, it. Go he ahead, attempted to he attempted to smuggle cannabis into prison by hiding it in a balloon up his nose. Oh, <laughs> what the fuck? What the fuck? Why? And Why? Here's here's the thing. This what happened. What the fuck? Here's the thing. This happened 18 years ago. Apparently, he forgot about it while he was in prison. <laughs> it- uh, he thought that apparently, like, or I. He said he forgot how he smuggled it. Basically, like he was like he's like I couldn't remember like if I like hit it in my mouth or like somewhere else. But apparently, so like after he got out of prison, he was having like a lot of like sinus problems, and he wasn't sure why. Oh my god! <laughs> and according according to this article, this is from Sky. Uh, over the next two decades, the balloon developed into a I, I don't know how to pronounce this a rhino lith. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but oh wait, it says right here. It's it's a stone in the nasal cavity formed as calcium and magnesium uh, salts build up around the rubber. So this caused him to get regular sinus infection, but it wasn't really that big of a deal um, until it developed into painful headaches when he finally sought treatment 18 years later. Uh, and that's when doctors discovered the balloon filled with uh, marijuana. I forgot about so, this story. Uh, I have a question about the story. Like, was the weed still good? <laughs> I don't. I mean, would would you still smoke like eighteen year old snotty weed? No, weed's weed as long as it's not laced Probably with something. Not. You wouldn't I, know. I, it's I eighteen wonder, years old though. Like, it could be moldy or something. But like, it could get you high quicker. What is it? What is that drug that's in the Wolf of Wall Street that apparently, like, when it ages, it has like oh, a delay? Uh, clay yeah, clay ludes. Yeah, it was used for like a. It was used for like. It was some sort of like mental health medication, like depression or anger or anxiety yeah, or something, something, but it like had that. like like severe psychedelic of like side effects. <laughs> so you'd take it and it would basically make you trip balls. Yeah, and so, I remember in the movie the the longer it waited, it actually had like a delayed effect, so he took more and that led to him just right. like in the middle of a phone call just I just like and then like tried to drive <laughs> home. Good movie. So here's a fun fact about that movie. It holds the record for most uses of the word fuck. <laughs> uh, yeah. I actually think I remember saying that somewhere. And I was like, that's random. Good movie if you haven't seen it. 
Good movie. So I don't know Brit. You said I think you said I was in like Britain. I don't know their their laws with like weed and stuff like that. But like, I wonder if he ever like had to go back to jail for that for like smuggling <laughs> it in. Uh, if he was there for eighteen years, I'm pretty sure he's going to be there for. I mean, yeah. like it's. Yeah, at this I, point, I, I it's just weed. Know. They probably wouldn't have like. Yeah, I mean, they would have slapped like another six months onto his sentence or something, but. Yeah, I, I don't. I don't know. You know, like, oh my god, that's a big bug. What <laughs> the fuck is that? Let's see it. Turn your camera. Let's see. No, it. Yeah, let's see it. It's, a, it's attached to his let's laptop. See it on the show. It's attached to his. It's laptop. attached to my laptop. Turn the laptop around. I, I it's in a like a oh my. Can you describe it? it? Can you describe it? It looks like a spider on steroids. Okay, and it's a, fur. Take a picture with your phone. So it's a tarantula then. Okay, actually, I think it flies. I need to, you guys take you need, care of the you podcast. Need, you need to you need to burn your house, dude. Yeah, or, that's or, it. Or, Run. Or, that's it. It's over. Oh my! He definitely. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Bro, he muted his mic for those uh, not watching the video version. Dude he, muted he his mic it, and I just think. oh my fucking god and took off his headphones like he was about to get shot, dude. That was fucking funny. Oh, he got it. He got it. Looks like he got it. Here, we're gonna commentate ah. this, Brendy. What do you think? So, Brendy, I think it looks like he's got the bug there. How do you think his approach was there? Oh, you know, that was a great, <laughs> great approach. You just see the the grasp, the handle, way ten out of ten out of ten. Bobby. The top of his draft class, absolutely ready to grab all of the bugs this in your household. This is exactly why he is the top prospect coming into this Abs year's draft. Absolutely, right here. straight out of of Southern New Jersey, he is ready to go. He's been doing it all his ladies, life. It's, it's ladies it's, and gentlemen, this is this is why we love sports. This is why, this we, is love why we love sports. Sport. Right here, plays like that, getting that bug, <laughs> getting right looking him back on the head. Phones. The light has shifted back to his face. Everything is and, going you know, there great. Was a lot of there was a lot of talk uh, doubting oh. Tyler Johnson, the bug grabber, but he has become a premier <laughs> bug killer. Yo, <laughs> here's the thing. Where the fuck did that come from? That's so, my question. Yeah, Tyler, you're gonna have a lot of fun so, listening to that back later. By the way, so you got it right. Yeah, that's he, what we saw. Oh God, I fucking hate spiders, but yes, I got it. <laughs> Okay. There's two things in this world that every time I see them, it gives me the chills. <laughs> Spiders and snakes. And Brendy, I don't know if you remember this, but we were literally playing Minecraft and we would go to the the spider dungeon with the poisonous spiders, <laughs> and I would have chills playing because it just fr I don't know why it's a like, fucking I just get, Minecraft spider really I know <laughs> I just get tense Jesus Christ okay, My, um, John's not good with snakes either to be fair so so I, I so I did um I did I did look up um uh, cannabis laws in the UK so um it's legal for medicinal use uh but recreational use it's illegal and it's enforced so oh, yikes okay. so so you like if you're smoking you better have your license on you yep and i'm sure he did not <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah I'm, gonna, I'm, 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 not gonna, sure. I'm gonna say he did not I, although i will say if he had sinus problems maybe he was able to get a, a weed license <laughs> <laughs> yeah yep um so Sorry, I just took so much time there on the podcast. No, we, I, we uh, don't worry. Me, me, me and Brandy got you. Just trust me on okay, this one. Okay, good. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm, it's going to be great. I can't. Again. <laughs> yeah. For episode 100, I'm sure we'll listen back to this part. Uh, anyway, <laughs> so I want to go to the next the next part, and this is me not being an idiot. Um, that That's rare for you, man, based on the podcast I've listened to. <laughs> episode 24. Uh, we've talked about a lot on the show, especially with uh, recently with the the 49ers being in the Super Bowl. Uh, I had, uh, <laughs> I had some of what it was considered in the in the preseason when we did the show a bunch of horse shit. Well, it ended up working out in my favor. I won't lie. I don't. Oh, this clip actually right here. I. Uh, it's actually not me giving the prediction about um, the 49ers finishing in a playoff spot. I think uh, Brendy actually had that section, so I didn't get to see it uh, or log it. But this is episode 25, just a small clip. Um, and or, I'm sorry, not 
not episode 25, episode 24 of me just having, showing some love for the 49ers. Buffer. Mm -hmm. So it goes to the 49ers. Um, and uh, I will say, 49ers, <clears throat> look, I mean, they had the second pick in the draft this year for a reason because they sucked, but they also sucked because Jimmy G went out with a torn ACL. If they can stay healthy, they're they're looking up. Like I mean, their team is looking up for sure, in my opinion. I, I think uh, obviously that's a big if, uh, staying healthy, especially at your major positions. Like I'm hovering over the hot take button, by the way. I'm waiting for you to finish this thought. <laughs> I mean, I'm pretty sure. Um, I mean, I mean, you've seen what happened with Jimmy, Jimmy G. The year he mm -hmm. got traded to the 49ers, he didn't lose a game. Like yeah. they finished the season, I think seven and zero or eight and zero or something like that. Mm. But I mean, Nick Bosa is going to be a beast. Um, the heartthrob of San Francisco, Mister Jimmy G. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, I like that pick there. And then number three, uh, Quinn and Williams um, from Alabama. 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 Uh, so I kind of push. I kind of pushed out of finishing that thought. By you the way, did. you uh, did hard, <laughs> like hard. But but. <laughs> That kind of led to me and thinking, and then again, I don't log this clip, but I've said it many times with the the preseason uh, predictions we gave. I had the 49ers making the playoffs, which I got laughed at for. But you know, Still again, do. I want, do you, when was that clip? When was that clip from? So episode twenty four, um, which was recorded on April twenty sixth and twenty seventh, twenty nineteen. Okay, so yeah, a, little, a while before, and um, yeah. I think it was right after the draft. I think that's what it was. We were talking yeah, about Nick it's, Bosa. It's like I said, April, so probably around that time. Yeah, so yeah, uh, again, early signs um, from me. I I'm actually going to have a second one here. Uh, this uh, is Bobby. I, wait, I, I'm sorry, sorry, real quick. I don't mean to cut you off because it's a good transition. Yeah. I want to give a shout out to apparently my roommate who is watching, my roommate Mark, who uh, has the following comment, who says, you guys are nuts. <laughs> <laughs> <We're nuts. laughs> so just a little shout out there but all right go ahead sorry about that so big up, mark yeah big so up, mark. bobby bobby um was not alone on this so i'm not going to give him too much agita for this but this is just a 12 second clip here uh talking about the stanley cup playoffs uh, this was last year uh this was last year's playoffs and the first round matchup between the tampa bay lightning and the columbus blue jackets uh, we've talked about it before. It went down in history. Uh, it's going to be infamous as the uh, great season that the Lightning had, uh, followed by a four nothing sweep of Columbus. Um, and this was uh, us previewing the show. Like I said, episode twenty two. Just a small clip here. Uh, Bobby, are you ready? Uh, as I'm queuing well, you up, I, I was see you're doing shit. I uh, I uh, was uh, plugging in my phone. I was, but I I was trying to get to the time code, and then it decided to reset itself. So hold on one second. So uh, here we yeah, go. I, I got, got it. it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Right, here we go. It's gonna. It's gonna buffer, of course. But uh, we got it. Not counting them out yet, but I, I definitely would say that Columbus would have uh, basically. I think anybody. Uh, I don't think that they don't have Tampa Bay. Nobody has Tampa Bay. Um, they might compete with Boston and Toronto, and uh, <laughs> I think they have Montreal and Carolina beat. Uh, they could compete with the Islanders, and I think they'd definitely lose to Washington, is what I would say for Columbus. Um, if the question is more so, would they hold that three spot? Will they go to the wild card? Um, depending on who makes these next few runs, if Pittsburgh all of a sudden... Yeah, okay. <laughs> Nobody so I can't Tampa. really give you too much shit on it. Nobody has Tampa. <laughs> uh, but, but here's what sucked about that whole thing, is that we did a bracket uh, bracket challenge, because um, we, we typically do that every year um, for yeah. the NHL. I got everybody wrong you, every you single person in the first round in the first round one right. not even he one got, he nothing got, he got zero points like a columbus four oh tampa and just everything fell off the rails so yeah. yeah dude these playoffs the playoffs in the nhl this past year were pretty fucking, fucking crazy christ like i, I said, mean I'm there was a, a I, lot of just weird shit happening I, i'm not gonna give you too much crap because uh you know who 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 would have predicted that but um, it's just you know. I want I want to I want to highlight uh something to kind of go along with that. I really think that uh our we talk about this YouTuber uh, quite a bit. Uh, our boy urinating tree. Uh, and yeah. I think his reaction to the lightning beam forward is by far the best. Wow! Wow! 
I mean, wow. You are pathetic. <laughs> like, I'm not even surprised by you not making the finals. I knew you were going to choke. But in game one of the playoffs... <laughs> do you realize what you have just done? This is quite possibly the greatest failure in the history of sports. 62 win season, Art Ross and Hart winning forward, visited trophy winner, nearest trophy winner, Lightning in three! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, oh my man, god dude <laughs> dude he ripped them to shreds i forgot about i forgot video. about that i forgot about that trump comment <laughs> oh my oh. god they so. really had that type of season 62 win season vesna trophy winning for goalie fucking <laughs> and that happened yeah and that happened Lee fucking just taint yeah on the record dude. yeah and like I love and the SpongeBob music to go with that. I just I, I love that for that the lightning playing damage control with that. I just thought that was funny. Yeah, that <laughs> was oh my god, damage control. But I feel like it made it worse, man. Yeah, like it, so. it was terrible. But yeah, nobody has Tampa, huh? Mm. Interesting. Um, <sighs> Not my hey, worst I'm take. I, I, I'm happy you said it because if you didn't say it, I probably would have said it. So yeah, I know. <laughs> uh, no, it's it's not my worst take, but it. it oh. Uh, we'll do a few more here, Bobby. If you want to round out, your, yeah, I, uh, uh, let me let me and consult, then I just have a few more to finish. Let up me with. consult my list here. Um, all right, we're gonna stick on hockey, um, and we're gonna uh, highlight something Tyler said uh, oh. in episode six, September fifteenth, twenty eighteen. I can't. I don't even know. And we're gonna talk about his boy, the Sharks, for a second. Uh. I'm just going to let this one play out for itself. And I think his opinion now is a lot different than it used to be. So I think we're just going to, no we're going to hear this through. And <laughs> I, I'm not telling you remotely what it is. Cause I want you to just have the genuine reaction. Here we go. Fiddle so, so we're going to skip those two, uh, segments for a topic that I think Tyler is going to have a lot of fun talking. About. Oh yeah. This, this is, this is groundbreaking. Uh, if you, you know, follow the NHL, you've seen this, uh, for sure. Um, the saga with Eric Carlson in Ottawa is over. Uh, he was dealt to my favorite team, the San Jose Sharks, uh, in a deal that I cannot believe it's, uh, it's days later and I still can't believe it actually happened. Uh, <laughs> um, I will read the, um. I will read the trade out uh, in a second once I bring it up because I. This this is like that. this is like Tyler's firstborn son being born. Like oh my <laughs> god, because like last year's trade <laughs> deadline, I remember all this talk like oh uh, Carlson the Carlson to uh, San Jose this and that. I'm like all right, like you know if it happens, we're gonna have to give up a like a boatload uh, for this guy. And- Which you didn't. <laughs> And yeah, which we didn't. <laughs> uh, in retrospect, you want to talk about it? Do we have to? Yes. <laughs> you want to bring up my um, takes? I'm gonna bring up yours. Go ahead. <laughs> so it is February 23rd, 2020. Um, the pick that was traded back to the Ottawa Senators for Eric Carlson is going to be a top ten pick. Um. Eric, hey, Brendan, you know how Bryce Harper is the most overrated player in baseball? Yeah. Well, Eric Carlson's the most overrated player in hockey, and it's not even <laughs> fucking close. This uh, guy... P.K. Subban might be up there. P.K. Subban doesn't get paid $11 million a year to True. turn over the puck. Daddy money. <laughs> uh, you know, look, Carlson has some moments of brilliance, but he's not... He... Uh, in signing him, we couldn't sign a bunch of players, including Joe Pavelski. The team this year is an absolute shambles. Um, again, the pick uh, that's going to to Ottawa is going to be, you know, a lottery pick. I mean, it could be the fucking the first overall pick. Who knows? Because they're not making the playoffs this year. Sad times, man. Mm-hmm. Sad times. So there you go. And I think that uh, oh, and there was one more I wanted to highlight. Um, I think so. Uh, this is from episode seven, uh, September nineteenth, uh, twenty eighteen. Uh, we were talking about Jimmy Butler, and the reason I'm highlighting this is because of what the conversation was versus what he ended up doing. 
which I think <laughs> okay. is, is just beyond interesting. So let me let me read. I don't. I'm, I'm forgetting exactly what was said, uh, admittedly, right now after I logged this originally. But I remember thinking that. So I'm just gonna play the clip and we'll, we'll kind of discuss. So I don't think this is more of a funny clip as more as it is just interesting. Let me see here. There we go. Fuck would even want to go there. Um, oh wait, but, uh, no, hold on. Uh, yeah, I gotta start pretty it before. Big news because I gotta start it before. <laughs> All right, uh, Jimmy Butler of the Minnesota Timberwolves, uh, formerly of the Chicago Bulls, uh, apparently has had it in Minnesota, and he has asked for a trade to uh, some random teams. Really, uh, quite frankly, uh, the L.A. Clippers, the uh, New York Knicks, and the uh, Brooklyn Nets. Uh, the Brooklyn Nets is the one for me where I'm like Who the. F- fuck would even want to go there um but uh, give him what the nets are now so yeah, he must have known about he must that, he must have known about Kyrie and uh kd going so there. that reminds me and i <laughs> look, and same I, thing with the clippers i had so many clips that i didn't log this but i have to i actually brendy had a spot on take you, you didn't said, highlight this I, I didn't i didn't but i'll bring it up now Back before all this shit was popping off, he said KD was going to the Nets. I did? did yeah. He? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> before, this was before Kyrie went there, before anything happened, he said, because we were talking about Alan Crabb, uh, like they traded him away, so it freed up a max slot. For them to sign a player like him, actually Kyrie might have been there. I'm not sure. Hang Kyrie on, I, I, I have I, okay. Since I since we have webcam on, I got to do my best Tiger Woods impersonation. So give me. A <laughs> oh second. yeah, all right here. Oh, yeah, get, uh, pretty big news right, here we go. because. Um, I still what? think. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, I must act. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I hit the fucking button. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I, I thought Tyler just randomly started talking. I, okay. Me too. I got really confused. Sorry about that. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> 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 that's uh that's a that's a gif right there if somebody wants to do that later a gif no fuck, fuck you we're gif. not having this discussion now no, but um i forgot that's how to i highlight. felt about that yeah. i forgot to highlight that but i'll give it to you brundy you got it but yeah that was that was interesting and then he ends up in philly and uh <laughs> and now he's a, a member of the heat and again, I think we we highlighted it before, like there was a yearbook of Jimmy, but excuse me, Jimmy Butler. Mm-hmm. It was like one thing you'll never wear. It was like a Heat jersey, and I remember us highlighting that. But yeah, that that's really funny. I forgot he played for the fucking Timberwolves. Like there was a point where the Timberwolves had like a really strong core. <laughs> yeah, that's weird to think yeah. about. And now they're they're them. But yeah, so uh, I apologize for not getting the clip for that. I'll put my hands up there. But I had so many other ones, and this was near the end of my clips. I was like, I don't know if I have time for it, mm-hmm. so I didn't put it. But um, yeah, but yeah, I did want to highlight Brandy. one more, uh, and, and uh-huh. because you brought up Brendy having a, a decent take, uh, so mm. this is coming from episode nine where Brendy had another decent take. It's nothing major, yeah. but it was confusing when it happened. Is after he said this, so I'll, I'll play. You'll 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 know exactly what I mean when I say it. And and how the outcome of that turned out. So episode nine, so oh it was boy. October fourteenth, twenty eighteen. So I'm gonna play that real quick. Um, yeah, if I, if I had well. to guess, if I had to guess, it'll either be Justin Herbert or Daniel Jones. I gotta I gotta rewind a little. It's bit. interesting. So John O. I got right, I, I, there's no there's no I I'm a hundred percent sure they draft the QB for their future. Talk about the Giants. Um, if, and if, I well. guess, if I had to guess, it'll either be Justin Herbert or Daniel Jones. It's oh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> so John Elway was at the Oregon game yesterday, um, and they brought him up a couple times on the TV. He was there watching Herbert. So that's interesting from my standpoint with the Broncos. Um, obviously, it's all going to depend on where he, where every, you know, everybody drafts at. But uh, the-, the Giants ended up picking Daniel Jones with what overall pick? The fucking what was it? The sixth sixth nice overall pick. pick. Sixth, yeah. I'm still not. Like, so I just thought that was funny because I think at this point we were thinking they were drafting way later. Like, they weren't drafting oh, that yeah. early. <laughs> like, not even close. So I remember hearing that and I had to rewind it. I, I, did, I had to do it there. But we were talking about draft and, and, and stuff and, and probably the Giants having to grab a QB, obviously. And Brandy said that. And I remember hearing it when I when I listened to this again recently and being like, oh, man, and we we the Giants weren't even in that in that top 10 conversation yet. They weren't even close. Yeah. So... Brendy making a, a cool call there. 
Because uh, <laughs> I knew in my in my head, I knew that the fact, or excuse me, I knew for a fact that the Giants were just going to be done with Eli, just the way they were treating him the whole season. Yeah, and deservedly so. My so. mentality, yeah, my mentality was like, okay, they're drafting a quarterback. It's like, okay, who are the you know top you know top four quarterbacks? You know, you got Kyler Murray. Uh, Daniel Jones, um, I think Haskins as well was mm-hmm. considered up there. Yeah, yeah, he was. Um, I think he was number one. Mm-hmm. Who? Uh, Haskins. Haskins. I, 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 or well, Murray was number one. Sorry, I, I'm I'm talking about um, not uh, the the pre draft projection or right? before before Kingsbury went to Arizona. Uh, where they, when they had like Josh Rosen and stuff. That's what oh I yeah, okay, yeah. yeah that was when <laughs> that was back when my uh, Kyler Murray uh, fourth round pick at best. Oh was yeah, just, I I was have just that. On oh here. yeah, <laughs> do you, really, do you uh, have that uh, take? Who has that take? Yeah. Uh, so uh, I will say, for every like a hundred hot takes I have, I have like five really good ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what so a ratio. I, <laughs> and, and, and I'm th- I'm thinking the one specific clip that I'm really proud of that I don't think any of you guys got. <laughs> um it was I think it was the um 2018 MLS Cup. I predicted that not only Atlanta United would win, but I predicted the score and I predicted who would score each goal. And I was really, really proud about that. I, <laughs> I, I don't know one. who had that episode, but I, I wish I wish you'd saw it. If it was me, I probably just like didn't realize honestly. I, 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 uh, yeah, I like absolutely wouldn't have known. So. Absolutely wouldn't have known. <laughs> um, so I guess you know I, I do want to go. Th- you know, we're not running over time. It's a podcast, but we are over two hours now. Uh, I have two clips from Brendy from episode seventeen that it was talking about the draft. So we'll go to that. Um, oh boy, because I wasn't going to initially, but uh, Bobby, it's it starts at twenty one thirty four. The yeah, first one. Yeah. See. Yep. Uh, so this was Brendy's hot take on Kyler Murray um, that you'll hear in a second. Only has to go with that just because of the money, um, all the guaranteed money, and um, all the offers he's going to get. So, did you have a fucking cold? What's going on here? <laughs> I, I swear, me? I was yeah. going to say every podcast we recorded, I'm pretty sure Brendy's just been like sick every fucking time. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I will say they. I will say, like, I don't think you guys understand, like, when when allergy season hits, like, I will have the allergies for, like, four months. Yeah, and that's, he, he, that's yeah, what I sounded do, like. Actually. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Here we go. I, I would have to say, in terms of Kyler Murray, um, play, playing in the Big 12, I'm not sold on Kyler Murray, um, that he can be a viable um, starter in the NFL. The reason for that is simply because I feel like his numbers do not reflect um, how talented or under-talented he really is. Simply because he basically plays, as I like to, as I like to call it, the Orange Cone Conference, <laughs> where, where basically if you said, like, <laughs> where, you, where you could literally put out orange cones on the defense and, like, they'd be, like, a little bit better. There's a callback to the orange so, cone theory with Zach uh, after uh, Brandy's Falcons hot take or during the hot take episode so, where he was saying that you could have orange cones out there for a Falcons defense at one point. I just didn't play that. that. That's why I, that's why I started saying orange cones in, in reference to, to that conference. Yeah. But um, so I will say him. Um, all right. See you, Tyler. Yeah, we lost oh, yeah. Tyler again. Uh, we're well, gonna wait for Hello, everybody. I don't know what the fuck's wrong with Discord. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, really quick before you disconnect again, mm-hmm. uh, I just wanted to say um, one. Um, there, there's kind of two parts to that that I want to dissect. The first part where I said like he's not a viable starter in the league. Yeah, I will agree that is a very, very hot take. <laughs> um, but I am still convinced that Kyler Murray is. Um, way overhyped and way overrated. Not as overrated as Bryce Harper, but, like... <laughs> the dude won Rookie of the Year. What else you want him to do? So did RG3, and look at him now. <laughs> um, true. You got, you got you there. Yeah, got you you're, there. You're, you're basing that off, like, years later looking at him. Like, we haven't been enough in the future for Kyler Murray to be like, yeah, that guy's overrated. A projection, like, he, though. He, a good projection, at, though. 
you can you can you can kind of start to predict how someone's career is going to go. Yeah. Right. And, and, and I will say I, I want to give a special shout out to my boy, Tyler, uh, <laughs> uh-huh. in our uh, in our fantasy league. This was like in week 14 or 15 of our fantasy league. And like me and him were kind of neck and neck. And this guy decides to go all in. He puts Kyler Murray as a starting quarterback. <laughs> And I think the I think he got five points. He did. You know who they're playing? The Giants defense. Want to talk about orange cones? Yeah. That's what I had thought. I'm like, all right, I'll play him. And then I end up losing. I, I so from that same episode starting at 29 minutes, I have I I'll be honest, I can't remember what it was. I just have Brendy gets a prediction right. Uh so I guess I guess we'll hear it now, and we'll hear what Brendan had to say. Because I have I, no I, I clue. having himself an episode. Hell yeah, yeah. <laughs> I have no clue what it is to be honest. All right, let's go for it. Broncos picking Drew Locke. It, oh, like, okay. That's all. Was. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that's all. It was okay. I, I'm sorry. I mean, thankfully. But okay. So two thing. Two things with that. I thought that the Broncos were going to pick him in the first round, and yeah. they and they didn't. Um, <laughs> Yeah, that was I, a shocker to me. Well, they they traded up in the second round to get him, but, but still, I, yeah, I do you remember, remember that call? Do that you draft? remember that call? Were we well, all in call that together epi- when that was happening? I, I, is it in that episode? In that episode, yeah. I'm pretty sure the first 15 minutes is like us just like uh, watching the draft. It's not that one, I don't think, because I missed this episode. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Christ. Oh, <laughs> sorry, 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 <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Uh, let me, I gotta, I want to find it real quick, actually. What was it? So this was episode 16, so I gotta think it would well, have so been the draft episode took, 16. The draft took place April 20, 26, 2019. April 26. So oh, if you so can look at it would have been the one that I had. Hold on one second. I want to find this because this was funny. I don't know why we didn't. No, know I, it. I, I know I had it because I listened back to it. I just don't know where it was. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about it. Um, it was, it was right in the beginning. We had like a snippet okay. before the intro. Let's see. But uh, yeah, hold on. Yeah, I, like I, I remember talking about yeah. it. Yeah, here it is. I found it. There you go. I found here it. it. <laughs> yeah, either Greedy Williams or Drew Lock. I'm fine with. Yeah, this was. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, <laughs> All right, pick is in, but. Still waiting. There this, I'm just letting you know this goes on for a while. So yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, this is funny. So this was we were this was before the podcast. We were in a call watching the draft, and this is this is what is resulting. Right. All right. You don't have, well, just get to the thought, pick. I don't thoughts think. and prayers to Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> All right. A lot of dead air here. A lot of dead air. <laughs> oh my god! No, I knew they were gonna do that. <laughs> what they do? An <laughs> offensive tackle. <laughs> oh my god! And Dalton Risner, by the way. Yeah. Bro, I swear, to fucking god, Elway. <laughs> Why does anybody want this guy right now? They make Dalton Risner. Yo, I don't uh. even know who this dude is. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. He played for Kansas State. Holy fuck. <laughs> Position rank five over rank forty six. I mean they need offensive tackles too. But how do you pass on Drew Law? Oh, are you watching on the NFL network or on ESPN? ESPN. Fucking douchebag, man. Oh, wait. <laughs> wait, they made a trade. Wait a second. What? They just they just they made a trade. They got another pick. They, yeah, they just traded up. They took they um, just, Oh so what oh, it's happening! <laughs> <laughs> they just traded for the next pick. This ha- this has to be Drew Locke. It, it, it can it can be nobody else but him. They just they're, they're going to trade up to draft Drew Locke. That, that has to be. That, there's no other reason to trade up for the pick right after. Yeah, they 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 just traded uh, traded with the Bengals. This is embarrassing. <sighs> <laughs> fucking bongos. You know what's crazy too? Like they have the tenth, and since they traded back yesterday, they have the twentieth. So like, if Greedy Williams fell to there, they got Locke and Williams. I might orgasm. Okay, dude. I, I'm like, locked, <laughs> locked in. Uh, Tyler, I'm just gonna say the guy that they picked from uh, Kansas State. Like they're playing the highlights of him. Like I know when you like when you're bringing out highlights for a guy. Like you, like yeah. they you only show like you know the good stuff. But like he actually looks like really good. Like. He just pushed the guy he all the way right from the line. He's doing good, isn't he? 
He's our he was our <laughs> high, most uh best graded tackle last year. He, he uh I think he went to the all is there is there an all rookie team in the NFL or am I crazy? Uh for a, the AP, yeah. Yeah, I think he was on the all rookie team. Yeah. All right, so let's hear, let's hear the rest of this. Image to like the sidelines. I mean, like I Where said, I mean, we him? need we bus? need uh, like we need offensive tackles too. So <laughs> the blind side reference. <laughs> yeah, that was great. I love that. <laughs> but like I said, I love- with this pick, they they can't go anywhere <laughs> but lock if you trade for that pick. They have got I'm, to. I'm gonna. If they don't. Denver is officially in the too. quarterback market. Like he don't even have to play this year. Like we got Flacco, but let him sit. Oh, we got Flacco. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and learn. And learn. And learn. Bro, I, oh, God, this... Sorry oh, for the, okay. sorry for the <laughs> extra delay. Twice. So, uh, so no, so the, the 20th like pick speed, got traded to the Bengals, so they only have this pick. <laughs> In this round. Getting Vietnam. I, I, was, I was like, I was wondering why Ian Rappaport was talking about a trade that, like, didn't happen. Yeah. The, pick, the pick is an early, boys. This God, this has to be. Please, fucking God. <laughs> Shit, yeah, sure. Yo, honestly though, <laughs> I will say this: if they don't go lock here, I want them to suck so bad next year that they get like. <laughs> you got you got your wish on that part, bud. Don't you worry. A top five pick, and either get um, Justin Herbert or Tua. <laughs> Justin Herbert, yeah. <laughs> Joe Burrow wants to have a word. Yep. <laughs> Tank for Hughes. Tank for. <laughs> oh yeah, I mean, that was in the midst of Hughes. <laughs> of yeah. fucking Tank Hughes. I like that better. That round. it goes better. Tank for Tua. Tank for Tua. Yeah, I actually like that better. <laughs> or or be bad not next year but the year after and get Trevor Lawrence first overall. <laughs> It's still Worth viable. It's still viable. More dead air. Dead air. Hello. Hi, dead air. <laughs> uh, yo, I'm pretty sure like somebody in the comp, the the Twitter mention for the Broncos <laughs> said like literally that they're gonna. I'm pretty sure they said that exact guy they were gonna pick over Locke, uh, like that Reisner guy. Which that Reisner guy is funny because it <laughs> Sorry, actually happened. That's, I'm pretty sure somebody said that. I can't. I just can't wait for them to not take lock. <laughs> <laughs> what a savage! Uh, again, I would even be fine with Williams. I, uh, but you don't trade for the next pick if you don't take the best available. The best available quarterback at this point. He's, I mean, he's the best available overall, either too. With a team that has a quarterback. Dude, need. Miles Sanders is still available? How has he not been drafted? He's a running back. You could, good call could there, too. The street. Exactly. Well, yeah, but that, that, Penn, that Penn State offense, though, is... Can he run a decent 40? Yep, down the street. Okay, he's drafted. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I know, but I expect him taking like somewhere right now. God, it really takes forever, doesn't it? I know. That's why I said I know this was a long. There's thing. three. There's three guys I would be okay with the Broncos picking: Locke, Greedy Williams, or DK Metcalf. Oh, so DK not. Um, imagine, imagine uh, the name I'm forgetting. The other quarterback. Finley? Yeah. Not with Locke, though. Finley fucking sucks. <laughs> so Locke, this has to be. Uh. <laughs> they got Drew Locke. They got Drew Locke. Oh, did they? Nice. Yep. Nice, nice. After all that. Oh, oh, nice. Congratulations. <laughs> you got Locke. Wow. What a good way to draft there, buddy. Sweet. And they're sending, sending out the talker again. Oh yeah, I remember this guy. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Is that really it? Is that really? I thought you had a better reaction than that. No, amazing. literally, that was my reaction. I was like, "Oh, cool." 
Yeah, you're an ass. <laughs> How'd you not log uh, that though? That's a, the, you were sweating because it was. Look how long it fucking. It was seven so minutes what? long. We good. That that's why. But no, um, I mean, look, Drew Lock had a first a good first season, so I'm happy about that. <laughs> but yeah, I remember that. Uh, and sorry, yeah, Dalton. You know, sorry about that. Before we wrap up, I do have two more clips. I we're gonna go through these fast. So be ready, yeah. Bobby. Yeah, be because I wanted to bring this one up, episode twenty eight, because I wanted to give context to where this amazing soundbite came from. Um, I think it was our MLB season preview or something, or, or we were previewing, like, the MLB, uh, and I was asking episode 28. The MLB season at the All-Star break. That's what we were doing. Uh, okay, yeah. we were. I was asking Brendy who would make the... I think I was asking who was going to win the NL or something, and... Uh, again, play this, play this clip for this great sound. This is an infamous, infamous clip. Infamous. Infamous. You hear it here first. Three ERA and a whip of .91. That's incredible. Um, you know, him himself might have, he might be, you know, one of the leading Cy Young candidates this year. Um, Clayton Kershaw, I mean, he's seven and two. The ERA is 3.09. Um, so, I mean, it's still good, but for his standards, not great. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, Walker Bueller's eight and one. I mean, they, they have, their pitching so is very, cut this better. very good. <laughs> um, and that's, you know, probably one of the biggest reasons of why they're so successful. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to give a shout out to Rio because he's having an incredible year, but, uh, yeah, the Dodgers, like I said, uh, we're going to have to see how it translates after being uh, one of the best teams in baseball. And then, you know, every year it seems like we're saying this and then we get to the playoffs and then nothing happens. So yeah. uh, I guess we'll wrap up this segment uh, with saying that at this point in the year, who do you guys have winning? You know, after the first half, who do you guys have winning the World Series? The Braves, baby. <laughs> 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 that was so, it was so the brave. Ba- he timed it perfectly. Like nobody was expecting that. The brave, <laughs> baby. baby. The brave. I don't think baby. I could say that good again. Can we run that? Can we run that clip one yeah, more yeah, time? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, we're on that. Just, back. Hear, just hear the Braves, baby. Yeah, we're on the back. Braves, baby. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it is still one of just the best sound bites that I have of you, and it just it's not even close. Like it just uh, it, 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 it made, that just came out, man. It just came out. The like, Braves, there was no baby. Stopping that. The Braves, baby. <laughs> baby. The Braves, baby. <laughs> <laughs> fucking fucking um, love it. And what was the last jersey? One I'm just gonna make a Braves jersey that just says the Braves, baby. That's gonna be nine on the back. I think that's what's gonna be our first like merch when we get merch out. It's gonna be the Braves, baby. <laughs> the Braves, baby. <laughs> the Braves, baby. <laughs> love it. Uh, I had one more clip. I actually meant to tie this in with the uh, Brandy drop and shit earlier. This is episode <laughs> 24. Uh, <laughs> two hours in, Bobby, at, at two hours and seven minutes in, um, Zach, who, oh. you know, <laughs> Zach, who's pretty good with his background noise, uh, accidentally did something to a poor, <laughs> innocent <laughs> animal. <laughs> so give it a listen. I think it's Eric Cernak I haven't or something like that. He's a defenseman. Uh, he had, he led the team with three points. <laughs> Um, so that just says we had is with the, with a team that they have, it's unacceptable. <laughs> yeah. Um, you know, question is this the I don't know how I guess the biggest series choke job in hockey, I, like all Another time, because I, I think it is. Yeah. Like, Damn, what the, the fuck? The fuck? <laughs> you just kill a dog? You no, fucking sack fuck of you? shit! What is wrong with you? Like, I heard what? a squeak, and I and just not not the good things happening over there. <laughs> I didn't even move. My dog just freaked <laughs> out, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I meant to tie it in earlier, uh, but I feel like that was. I got so, a better reaction than I was expecting, so I'm happy so to end on that. Let me explain that. So I sit in like a rolling office chair, and usually my dog is like a big attention whore, so she usually wants to like come sit sit in the office with me, like while we're recording. Yeah. Which is usually fine, but this particular day, she decided to sit down directly behind my office chair. So if I even move back an inch. I would have ran her over it, and that's exactly what happened. Like, I didn't know, because usually there's, like, a couch behind me, and she usually just hops up on the couch and sits there, or, like, lays down or whatever, 
But for this particular day, she just decided to sit right behind my chair, and I had no idea she was one, there, two, so one, I just two. ran her ass over. <laughs> Look, I, I feel bad for the dog, because that was obviously a noise of pain, but the fucking, like, screech of that <laughs> makes it funny <laughs> for some reason. I, felt, I didn't feel good about doing this, like, don't get me wrong, like... <laughs> oh my god it really um, feels bad when you hurt your dog because they don't they don't have any concept that you didn't mean it yeah i know you, yeah. you get, i hate what you ever like you know you accidentally hurt your dog step on them whatever and you go up to like oh my god i'm so sorry i'm so sorry i'm sorry and they're just like they're just so unbothered they're just like yeah they're, they're like, like hanging fuck. their head yeah like wow man uh, it just makes you feel like the biggest piece of shit on earth dude it's so bad I hate it. I for, yeah, I forgot to put that in earlier, but uh, <laughs> one we'll one we'll the clips there. But again, I don't want to hear a dog in pain, but that fucking noise and just it <laughs> just the way that clip unfolded. Is so I, would, I would like to make it clear that we here at the Complain Network are are Do not, not yeah, the Complain Network. Abuse. Yeah, it just <laughs> caught us. It just caught them so off guard that it was kind of funny. Like, yes, <laughs> it just we weren't we weren't there was literally nothing happening. I was like whoa, and we we're just like what the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. God damn! Oh my God! So no, we uh, uh, we love animals yeah. in, the, in the show. We you know we all have, we you scare all. the fuck out of me too because I went to back up and it just happened. I was like, what the fuck did I what? Yeah, it, I, I gonna say. I mean, it uh, it was a good time listening back to the clips here and going back and listening to them because yeah, you just forget about all these like ra- like ra- like that was such a random moment, but it was just like something. Again, like a little funny, yeah, that happened, and like all this stuff. It was just, it was a good time. So this was a good episode of that. We'll end with Zach's thought of the week. Track uh, of the week, but track yeah. of the week. I yeah. Jesus, man, Horse. you were you were good through like most matter, of dude. this most of this podcast. This, I literally have two segments, and they both end with of the week. So well, here's the thing. <laughs> I would be fine if I did that the first time. That's at least the sixth time I've done that. Yeah. So sorry. Go ahead. Track of the week. Well, track of the week. This track of the week is a. A big tune, big big tune, just big released. Tune. <laughs> big tune. Um, it's called "Know Thyself" by Turney and Sound, a group. I I believe I've had tracks by them as the track of the week previously, mm-hmm. but they are a really good group. I mean, I've spoken briefly on them. They record all their own sounds, use their own samples. They might use Splice a little bit. Splice is just a for those who don't know, it's just a program where producers can use samples that other producers have created mm-hmm. but as far as i'm as far as i know this group records all their own sounds and this is this is a big one from their new release called know thyself on uh deep dark and dangerous Slap. run it boy Means no. I like the fade out on that, but that's a big one. That's been an that's been an ID from them for a long time. Yeah, that fade out brought to you by my mixing board. <laughs> yes, sir, <very laughs> nice. I liked it. Yeah. Uh, that is all for the show. We will end with saying that this was one of our our first of three episodes of our special episodes on the podcast. Got a trilogy coming be, up here, boys. We do, uh, and more to come after that as well. But for the next two episodes after this, oh, next wow. week, as we said before, Zach's thought of the week. You're a fucking idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Episode 52, Jeopardy, hosted by your boy. And uh, and then I'm sure maybe like 55 or something, we will have a hot take episode. And, and If uh, you don't listen to the Complain Network, fuck you. Fuck yeah, you. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> and, fuck and I'm you. sure with, all, with this hiatus, not hiatus, but us taking a break a little bit from current stuff, uh, I know we have some plans for videos. Me and Bobby have plans tomorrow but we're not you know i'm not gonna make anything definite <laughs> but we do yeah. have plan tomorrow to live stream yeah. uh the nhl trade deadline uh around the time that it does stop and talk about stuff like that or you so. could say you're gonna make it definite and then show up 75 minutes late that's <laughs> <laughs> fine <laughs> Burns is gonna kill you i'm sorry uh, baby, was, i love you that was not my fault <laughs> i know it's not your fault i'm just i'm just giving you shit yeah i know <laughs> 
And hopefully Zach Funny will have writing. a webcam next time. Hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully. Not that I'm pressuring him to spend his hard on Best Buy. Yeah. <sighs> Never mind. Go ahead. No, do it. You're already do- you already started. <laughs> I specifically remember you saying you would go to Best Buy and get a webcam. Oh no, we had this conversation. We did. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I said I would, but I never did. So yep. yeah. Fucker. So I'm not the only one taking an L today. I didn't for I didn't forget that we were doing it. I just never like was really clear on if we were or not. Like mm-hmm. I knew it was an idea. I never knew it was confirmed. <laughs> just like last week, he didn't know that we were recording on Saturday when we had <laughs> I don't check Discord checked. like I should because I'm Anyway, before we aware, uh, whoa! Me? Try again. Any back more it up. of our dirty laundry? That All is right, it for, the for taking the heat off me there. Yeah, I'm <laughs> taking the heat off. Of this us. is a close one. Uh, it's a close one. That is all for the show. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you enjoyed the face cams. We'll be uh, continuing that, mm-hmm. making Bobby's life a lot harder. But that oh, is man. all for the show. We will see you next time for episode fifty-one of the Complete Podcast. Peace. <laughs>